Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Hezzy! Yo, what's up? How you feel, man? How you feel? How you feel? Uh, I feel good. I feel good. I just had a protein shake. You just had a protein shake? Had a nice workout this morning. Had a nice workout this morning. I yeah. Haven't gotten to do any of that yet. I feel good, man. Um, How's the heart? The heart is good. I meant to text you. I meant to text you this weekend. Hot water and ginger every day. Okay. Hot water and ginger every day. Okay. They say it's good when you're having uh, any cardiovascular issues. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, and I, I don't believe this part, but they say it can actually get rid of the calcification. Whoa. Uh, you know. Yeah, take it with a grain of salt. Eh, eh, no, actually a grain of ginger. But a grain of ginger. Yes, yeah. but, you, sh- but uh, you know, people didn't really enjoyed that conversation last week, man. A lot of people out there. But I mean, heart disease is the number one killer of people in America. So. We might have saved some lives, bro. Mm. We might have saved some lives. Ours, ours, we spoke about something that has been out here killing people forever. Yep. You know what I mean? It's been the number one killer of people forever. Yeah. But people don't talk about it for whatever reason, you know? Yeah. It's almost like we just, it's like, a, it's like a thing that we just have learned to accept in life, you know? It is weird. And it's one of those things, yeah, yeah. It's like now I feel like I'm feeling things going on in my heart, but I was never before. Oh, that's, that's welcome to my world. Yeah, psychosomatic. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to my anxiety-filled <laughs> oh, world. Yeah. Everything. Heartburns. Is this a heart attack? You know what I mean? Yeah. Heart palpitations. Is this a heart attack? Don't 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 be working out and look at your Apple Watch and be That's like, the thing. You got to get off the Apple Watch. The <laughs> Apple Watch is going to give you another reason to justify why you feel horrible. I'm looking at mine right now. And then, see, I have a slow heart rate. So don't my heart do, rate oh, dude, that's terrible. 59 beats per minute. That's Wait a minute. Good. Are you saying your heart is late? <laughs> My heart is late. That was a black joke. Yeah. It's okay, guys. It wasn't <laughs> yeah, the best. It. See, it right now, my see, best. four minutes ago, my heart rate was 59. Now it's 73, 77, 73. Yeah, this is too much information. No, you don't want good. this. You got a runner's heart. Yeah, they say it's slow. But I mean, I know I got a little bit excited because we're doing brilliant idiots, baby! I'm the only one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. we're in. We're in. We're in. I'm trying to think. What did we lock in? I heard that you have a hot take about the fight. I don't have a hot take about the fight. I, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I heard you have a very hot take about the fight. I don't have a hot take. I am emotionally drained. Okay. I, I didn't realize how much of an emotional attachment I have to boxing. And I don't know why I'm just realizing this. I love, I, you know, I love boxing. You love boxing. Yeah. You know, we go to the fights and stuff like that. Yeah. But this was very hard to watch Saturday night. Why? I don't know. I felt like that when I saw Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder part two. Mm. I was like, shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this was very, very, very hard to watch because I have never in my life seen a more dominant boxer in a ring than I saw Terrence Crawford on Saturday night. Wow. Mm. And we've been watching boxing a long time. Wow. This was the single... Greatest, probably performance you've performance ever seen. I've ever seen from a boxer. Yeah. Wow! And, and 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 based off the circumstances, right? The fact that the mega fight that it was, the yep. fact that Earl Spence is a beast, a uh, 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 undefeated, you know, unified welterweight champion, held three belts. Like this is the yep. this is the cream of the crop. Like these were the two best, yep. you know, welterweights of the past. <laughs> Probably decade okay. going head to head, and it was just a complete beatdown, bro. Yeah, I think that's a. I think it's a very reasonable take. Um, the only more dominant performance that I would say was was probably, and this is in looking back, mm-hmm. Floyd against Canelo. Because if you look at what Canelo did with his career afterwards, and you look at the fact that Floyd comes up to one fifty four and then is just untouchable in the ring against Canelo, who goes on to be one of the greatest boxers in the history of the sport, you're like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, but, this not, is a but, different but, but, one. Not, but not even close. But, and and, 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 and what you're, that, is, that is a good one, and people were, I, I, I had that discussion this weekend. The reason it's not even close, Earl Spence has never been knocked down. In bro, his career. Bro, 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 bro. I understand. Ever. So the difference with this is they're both in their prime. So you're looking at prime Earl, Prime Bud, 
and they're going at each other. And a lot of people thought Earl's going to win. Like I picked Earl. Yeah. I've been picking yeah. Earl for years. I've been picking Earl so much that when Terrence Crawford came to the Breakfast Club last month, that's the first thing he said. What did he say? Oh, Earl, oh, Earl Spence, the guy, the guy you picked to beat me? You yeah. got to make some adjustments, though. This is Earl Spence we talking about. This is the know? guy that you had picked over. I did, me, I did. He I picked, got, he picked yeah, him I over. I, I remember. remember. I, got, I, remember. <laughs> I don't forget. I got Earl. Yeah. I do got Earl. I just think, you know, styles make fights. I think Definitely. Earl got it. You feel pressure going into this fight? Not at all. This is my time, and the world going to see July 29th. Yeah. And I've been, I've been saying this for like five, six years, that Earl yeah. Spence is going to beat Terrence Crawford. Yeah. Matter of fact, Terrence Crawford, by the time y'all hear this, y'all probably already going to... Terrence wants to Zoom in the Breakfast Club tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he wants, to zoom, he wants to zoom in. Let him enjoy that moment, bro. I, I, Let I, him I gave enjoy myself donkey today yesterday. Yeah, yeah. But the reason I gave myself donkey today was not because it was just a, a wrong sports pick. It's because I looked Terrence in his eyes and told him, you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. Everything I said he could not do to Earl Spence, <sighs> yeah. he did. Yeah. I didn't think he was as strong as Earl Spence. Hits harder. He's faster. I didn't think he could hit harder. I knew he was faster. Better balance. Better balance, better counter punch. I knew that though. I knew he was fast and I knew he was a better, better jab. Puncher. That's what everybody was surprised by. Everybody like, had a better jab. Errol's gonna sit behind that beautiful jab and then just dominate the fight. But That's I mean, Earl's Bud's punch. jab was stronger. Yo, Earl threw. It looked like Errol couldn't hurt him. This is what was fascinating. Errol's the bigger guy. Errol could easily go up to 154, right? Easily, he probably should. Bud's coming up from 140. And somehow he was more powerful. I mean, okay, faster, yeah, I get that, but more powerful and then unaffected by the punches. It didn't Un look like Arrow could hurt him at all. And I didn't I yeah. didn't see that coming. I, yeah. Two things I didn't see coming. Number one, I didn't think Terrence could hurt Earl. Yeah. And I thought Earl probably could have hurt Terrence. Here's the thing. Terrence said he took one of Earl's punches and he said when he felt it, he was like, oh, that's all he got? Mm. And that's when he went to work. I mean, that's what it looked like, to be honest. That's with exactly you. what it looked that's like. That's what it man. looked like, yeah. But then I saw a video that I wish I would have saw before. Fuck like that, that overhand right right there, he just ate. Another one. But he caught him with the love uppercut. What are you that, saying? Uh, that, that uppercut was so fast. Look at this shit, man. Yeah. But Earl, uh, I saw a you video only, just Terrence Crawford deadlifting 455. God damn. Yeah, yeah, he's a beast. I mean, this guy's an elite athlete. <laughs> Unbelievable I'm power. You. I mean, you're getting with no gloves. <laughs> no gloves and no belt on his waist. I'm not joking. I'm gonna show you this shit, man. No, I believe you. Wow. But yeah, but look at this. I mean, Bud is just an elite athlete. And just the balance is amazing. Look at the balance. And if you look at a lot of the times that he was catching, uh, he was catching Errol on these counters. He was putting himself in dangerous positions, even that uppercut that he threw, right? Errol's throwing this big looping left hand. In order for Errol to land that uppercut, he's got to shoot it and hope that he lands before Errol lands. Mm -hmm. And he did, and he dropped him. But if he doesn't, Errol's throwing a haymaker left that's going to connect. You only do that if you're not afraid he of the power. He was fighting for his life, man. But here's the thing. We got to give credit to Errol because... He is a dog. He would not quit. He had no quit. He got up every time, he, and he went out on his feet. No, no. Exa yeah, exactly. Yeah, they stopped it on the feet. Yeah. Like, he kept getting dropped, kept coming back. Once, rematch. I don't know if there's a reason for a rematch. There's I no think he'd have to rematch. have some, some the, dominating wins the, before they do that. The only reason you give him a rematch is because he's Earl Spence, and yeah. because it's in, he has the rematch clause. Yeah. Other than that... Nah, man. I don't think the public needs it. If he had an excuse, if he was like, I tore my rotator cuff before the fight, and uh, oh, well, you know what the, the re you know what the excuse is. What? And this this is this is what everybody's been saying. Um, and it's this it's this great thing on uh, YouTube now. But it's a doctor who says that Earl Spence Jr. suffers from residual neurological damage from the car accident. The two car accidents. People forget there was two car accidents. It was mm -hmm. the one car accident that was almost fa that was fatal where it flipped over but then it was another head on collision. And he was saying that um soon as he, he was like that is one of the reasons that Earl hasn't fought over the last 15 months because they've been trying to you know get him back, right? The reason I don't like that is because whenever somebody loses in this way, there's all types of excuses and I don't mm -hmm. think that's fair to Terence Crawford at all. Yeah. I think that Terence Crawford you know, as an elite fighter. And, you know, he went out there and did what he had to do. And another reason I don't like using that excuse is because we've seen Earl fight like four or five times since, since. these accidents. And he's won. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and some of these fights, he's won in dominant fashion. Yeah. You know, so I don't know if that's fair to do. I mean, he did take 15 months off. Um, and then I was watching first take yesterday. Stephen A said he think Earl Smith should retire. Wow. Because of all of the damage that he's accumulated over the years between the car accidents and the beating he took from Earl, uh, from Bud. Oscar De La Hoya said, "There's no way in hell he should fight in December." He was like, that, "That's he was like that's insane." He was like, yeah. "He needs to go through 
uh, extreme testing. Yeah. Um, Teddy Atlas, Teddy, I think I, I, if, if Stephen A was correct, Stephen A said Teddy Atlas said he should wait a year. Some people say that. Say so it should be a year of testing. But I'm like, well, what was he doing the last 15 months then? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, just, I mean, regardless, it was an absolutely amazing fight. I've and never this seen is, anything like it, yo. Bro, high level boxing, high level boxing like this. This is the guy, like, I, the last time I saw hand to hand combat like this was yeah. when Captain America was fighting Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, Captain America really stepped it up when he was fighting Thanos. He did. People don't he think did. about he that. But, like, he, when it was just Thanos and Cap going one on one, go it. back and watch that shit, yo. Cap was throwing them hands. Yeah. That's the last time I seen some shit like this, yo. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and it shows that when boxing is at the highest level, the it, best. Is, it is the best. It Nothing is beautiful. better. We were watching it, and uh, I had a show in AC. Shouts to everybody that came out to the show in AC. And um, they had a sports book where you could watch the UFC fight and the boxing fight. And they're going on at the same time. And um, the undercard for boxing, and this is what I say with all due respect to all the fighters on it. I know Pitbull Cruz was on it. Uh, he's a beast. There was nobody paying attention to that undercard, man. No, it was nobody paying attention to. During the Pitbull Cruz fight, there were three... UFC fights that happened. And this is why UFC and MMA is dominating fight sports right now. In the time for one boxing match, and keep in mind, when a boxing match is uninteresting, mm -hmm. it lasts longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Man. In a time for one boxing match, there was three different UFC fights that he ended in knockout or submission or just raw excitement. So I'm like, wow, there's no way that boxing can compete. Boxing is over. And then this fight starts. The when I tell you the energy changed, yeah, Charlemagne, man. the entire sports book is focused in on this one fight. Everybody ooing and aahing. And then a hilarious thing happened. The second the Errol Spence Bud Crawford fight finished, every black person in the sports book left. There was <laughs> there was one more UFC fight left. Every black person in Atlantic City left the sports book and went to go gamble the second that fight was. And it showed that there's a cultural divide right now. Black people are still rocking with boxing. If you look yeah, at the biggest boxing. boxers in the United States, you look at what Gervonta does, yeah. right? You look at what Bud, Errol does, Earl. what Bud Deontay does. Wilder still. Deontay, right? Yeah. Black people are holding down boxing. We Latinos boxing. still fuck with no, boxing. No, Mexicans too, though. Me but also Mexicans fuck with U uh, UFC now, too. Mm. But... There is a black people are black people and Mexicans are holding down boxing. And it's not even close. Yeah. That, that's what that's why that's something that Floyd tapped into a long time ago. He Floyd, knew. Floyd he knew. knew when Floyd fought Oscar De La Hoya, he was like, all right. Oh, this is going. That's crazy. right. That's yeah. right. That's why he fought the Canelos and everything. Like I, I told somebody the other day, because they were talking about uh, you know, Terrence Crawford needs to give boots a shot, right? Um, um yep. and I'm like, you know, it really doesn't benefit him to fight boots because it's not a big money fight. And then and, and my cousin Prime was like, yeah, but you got to get a young guy the chance like Floyd gave Canelo. I said, Floyd didn't give Canelo a chance because yeah, he was trying to look out for another boxer. Of exactly. Yes. <laughs> he was a draw. Yes. Even at 20 years old, he was a huge draw. Floyd yes. was tapping right in to that Mexican market. Floyd was thinking money. Uh, yeah, the only guys that, that uh, Crawford can fight right now, he could, uh, what about, what is uh, Charlo? Is there a Charlo that fights yeah, at Yeah, that's, that, that's what he wants. He said that on Breakfast Club. He said he wants to go up to fight, no, not 147. He wants to go up to 154 to fight Charlo because then he'll be the first ever undisputed three division champion. And then you retire. What's after? What, what, what else is there to do? And keep in mind, guys, undisputed means you have every belt that's available. <laughs> that means all <laughs> the different and he'd be promotions. be a three division. He did it 140, just did it 147, could do it at 154. Bro, there's a moment in the ring, I'm sure you've all seen it. He just knocks down Errol Spence. Errol Spence is getting the count. Looks into the crowd, find his next p opponent. He's this talking like, to Jamel Charlo. He's talking to Jamel in the ring. He goes, "You're, you're next. next." Grabs his dick. Uh -huh. you're, you're next, next. <laughs> bro. That. that is like WWE level promoting. Yeah. You're promoting your next fight while you're knocking out your opponent in the current fight. Yeah, Jamel fighting Canelo in uh, September. He's going all the way well, up to one. What is it? One sixty. So Jamel's brother is Jarrell. Jamal. It's Jamal and Jamel, right? Yeah, I think it's, it's Jamal and Jamel, the Charlo brothers. Well, so old, Jamel has all the belts at 154? Yes, yep. Jamel. So then he can't fight. 
He's gonna fight Canelo, but if he, even if he loses to Canelo, he still has his belts at one. So he'll come back to one fifty four. Yeah, he's gonna come back to one fifty four. Yeah, yeah. So he's yeah, gonna yeah. take the big money fight with Canelo. Canelo's gonna come back down to his more regular weight so he can get another win. Because I don't think Canelo's beating that Russian dude to fuck him up or Kazakhstani dude or whatever. I, I think he needs to leave that alone. Yeah, and, but it's, I mean, it's just good. I mean, I, I like I like that Bud has his legacy planned out. Ooh. He knows exactly what he needs to do. To say, he's already separated himself because we've never had a two division. And he's thirty five. He don't need to champion. fight anymore. Like it, you're a thirty five. Fight since he was seven. Exactly. You're a thirty five year old. You're an absolutely elite, brilliant fighter. The world is recognizing you right now. You delivered your best performance. Unbelievable. In the most important time. That's right. At the highest stakes. You had Eminem walk you out, which was great marketing. That shit happened two days before. Bro, I, I saw that. But think about the marketing there. Think about the marketing specifically. I was telling Al this. I was like, Al, imagine Jay-Z walked out Dustin Poirier, who's an amazing UFC fighter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's going to have black people going, if they don't know who Dustin is, going, yo, who the fuck is Dustin Poirier? Should I be watching this guy? Like, Jay-Z? I think black people like UFC, though. It just depends who's fighting. Who was uh, fighting? No, no, no. That, what I'm trying to I say is- I don't even know who was fighting. Uh, Dustin Poirier uh, was fighting Justin Gaethje. Incredible okay. fight. The whole card was incredible. But what I'm trying to say is Eminem is going to be representative of selling records on in the mainstream globally at the highest level. Eminem makes you feel like if you don't if you're if you're a casual, you like I should care. And you're like, why don't this guy I got know Eminem this? walking him out? Exactly. Ex thank hey, you. You said it. Perfect. Why don't I know this guy? Why bro? don't I know this guy? I got if he got a dude, right, who is like, he was like, he got the hottest song in the hood right now. Okay, that's fine. That's great. Everybody might be there. But in terms of marketing, you get Eminem to walk you out. And M don't go nowhere. He don't leave the M don't, house. M don't leave the house. So if that is big. Huge. <laughs> and doing Lose Yourself. Bruh. It was perfect. It was. And he really lost himself and possibly lost Earl in the process. Yeah. And, I, and the only thing I don't like about when casual people watch boxing, though, is now I got to explain to people how good Earl Spence Jr. is. That's the thing, because they're just going to see the dominant performance. Exactly. They don't realize that Earl Spence Jr. was doing that to everybody he yes. fought <laughs> yes. for his whole yes. life. His whole life. You know what I mean? He was an undefeated, unified, welterweight champion. He had three belts, man. He was that good. And then somebody said to me... Uh, he never fought nobody. Now all of a sudden, early ain't fight nobody. That was what we used to say about Terrence. He, now all of a sudden, he didn't early fight, didn't fight nobody, nobody. cuz he made them all look like that. Yeah. Hmm. And, and Terrence yeah. and Earl fought like three or four of the same people. They all say that shit with Mayweather too. It's they they always have an excuse to knock you down. They yeah. always have an yeah. excuse to knock you down. It's hmm. bullshit. This was elite boxing and elite boxing is so much fun to watch. The problem is everything else is so boring. There's only one other thing that even to me, gets to that level of, like, I'm not going to front, man. I was in the house, and I didn't even realize how excited I was until the fight. Like, I was watching. I was watching the undercards and everything. But you had and then I'm like, shit? Yo, yeah, man, yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah. My, my knees started getting weak on yeah, spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, shit. I'm yeah. like, yo, we about to watch Earl and Bud. Yeah, and then yeah, I started yeah. getting, like, I had to start doing breathing exercises. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was just nervous, and I don't know what the fuck I was nervous for. I don't got no money on the fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't have a You're personal attachment to them. either one You're of them. I just, that's like, you when Izzy fights? Oh, oh yeah. Like, so when Izzy but that's your guy. That's your actual guy. So that makes sense. Yeah, I guess you're right. But sometimes we identify with people we don't even know that well. Like, I've done that with boxers my whole life. I've done that with fighters my whole life. And you know it's the highest stakes, right? You know, it's not like, it's not a game. You can't play fighting or you whatever You can't play said. boxing, like, man. It, this is... I felt like that when Earl was getting beat up, man. I was like, I feel like Bud is doing this to all of us. Yeah, but bro, <laughs> like, like Bud is doing this to every critic who said Earl was going to beat him. Yeah. He's doing this for all the times that he couldn't get a fight of this magnitude. Yeah. Like he just went out there and showed off. But you got to, I mean, I cannot, we have to give credit to Earl though. That's the thing because like. He kept getting up. He kept getting up and he kept pushing. That is a tough Kid. He showed me why he survived those car accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look, I'm car serious, accident, not taking him out, He bro. showed me why he survived those car accidents. Yes. Earl Spence does not stop. That man is damn near indestructible, man. He couldn't do damage with that overhand left, bro. He would throw that overhand left, and it maybe, uh, I mean, look at that. That still lands... But he caught him with that uppercut. Go first. back to that uppercut because I, I, that uppercut was so fast, I didn't even see it. Bro, you can, you can hardly back, see it on the replay more, when it's slowed down. So, he, so once Earl loads up the left hands, Bud shoots that uppercut, 
Earl kept getting up too. Watch how, watch how fast he bounces it's back up. Slow-mo. No, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. Watch it's how good. fast he bounces right back up every time, man. I mean, it's amazing. But the kid is tough, man. This is when they had to stop it. Like, okay, 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 enough, enough, enough. It's over, man. The kid is tough. And even then, he's like, why? Like, why on, stop bro. it? Because we don't want you to die in the ring, Earl. We know you're not going to stay down. Nah, he's okay? tough, man. Earl's tough. Nah, he's a beast, man. He's a beast. And But Terrence Crawford is something special. Where do we rank Terrence Crawford? All-time Walter Wicks. Man, there's been a lot of great welterweight fighters. Great, from, man. Phenomenal. There's been a lot of... Is he top 10? Yeah. I got him top 10. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious where he ranks himself. I mean, here's the thing. Let me tell you the illest thing about him. He was like, oh. I lead after y'all. I love that. He said that. He was like, I lead after y'all. Yo, like, rankings? Like, yeah. He said, I lead after y'all. He said, he said, I know what I've done, and I, I know what I do, but I leave the all-time rankings to y'all. I love that. I, I'll be honest with you. I think that... The and even with, with boxing, with basketball and and and, and sports, a little different because there's actual like numbers and stuff like that. But definitely with art, it's like that, that's the something that the people decide. Yes, you can't decide it. The people decide whether you are the greatest, right? And you hope that the art that you're creating matches with what the people really want or need. And then in this brief moment in time in history, you get to be the greatest, you know. And like every generation is gonna forget about the person before them that they don't even know about. So they're not even gonna forget, they're not even gonna know. The greatest boxer of our generation, this next generation has no clue who they were. They don't know how nice Oscar De La Hoya was. Yeah. Not saying he was the greatest, but they don't know. A lot of these guys don't even know how nice Floyd was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you can only hope for is in that moment of time, people are like, oh my God, you're the greatest? And that's really up to the people. All you gotta do is focus on the art, focus on what you're doing. That's a beautiful perspective that Bud has. Yeah, because we were having the conversation, and I, you, you do know when you're great because when 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 Bud put that performance on, immediately people start saying like, "Yo, could he have beat Floyd in his prime?" And I'm like, it's hard to say, but if he he would if he fought like he fought Saturday night, he'd give Floyd some trouble. I'll tell you one thing. Not only would he give some trouble, trouble, there are so many similarities in their game. They're very different fighters, but the similarities that I see is impeccable balance. You do not see, not for one moment in that fight, Bud off balance. Footwork is amazing. 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 The, like, he, like he could cha-cha slide in that motherfucker. Easy. <clears throat> Every punch thrown, perfect balance, perfect pullback. Like I think he hits way harder than we we thought, though. Like I knew, I knew he hit hard, but... Watching Earl's face, well, first of all, watching Earl get dropped by a jab in the second round, which Great. is unbelievable. Yeah. But then watching his face by the fourth round be swole up like that, I'm like, well, how hard is goddamn Terrence Crawford hitting this man? Yeah. Like, how hard is Terrence Crawford laying into this man? You fight Floyd like that, you land those type of punches, you know, you probably give Floyd a real run for his money. I just don't know how often you're going to touch Floyd. That's the thing. That's when people yeah. don't. And that's when people fail to realize about Floyd. Because when we think boxing, we think punching, punching, punching. Yeah. There's never been a better defensive fighter than Floyd. Money never. Was never. And and offensively, he's just immaculate as well. There isn't a single flaw in his game. His jab is perfect. His little check hook is perfect. I mean, he, don't have a lot of punching power though, especially in his later years. He didn't have the punching power at the weight that he came up at. But if you look at Floyd's career when he started at, I don't know if it was 130 pounds or 135, whatever it was, like. He was knocking people yeah, he was the people fuck out. out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, of course you're going to lose some power as you go up. What's really impressive about Bud is he keeps going up, and the power is still there. Now, keep in mind, it's not a one-shot power. He's not one shot and you're going to sleep. No, no, no. It's cumulative. He's going to keep fucking landing. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's just beautiful, man. It's beautiful, man. It was. I re it really was tough to watch, though. I'm not going to lie. I was like, God damn, Earl. And then, and then his corner couldn't throw in the towel. Only the ref could do it. And honestly, I feel like Bud carried him a couple rounds. Wait, really? I do. Interesting. I feel like Bud could have ended that fight a lot earlier if he wanted to. So you thought he would, there's a great fighter who fought a welterweight. His name was Pernell Sweet P. Whitaker. Oh, yeah. Pernell Whitaker, this is before Floyd, people would say it was the greatest defensive boxer uh, ever. And then before that, you can go in history, there's plenty of other people that say, but Pernell was unbelievably talented defensively there's a great video of like when he's fighting oscar de hoya and he dodges like 13 punches in a row it's just unbelievable mm -hmm. what he could do and pernell whitaker people would always say uh one criticism was 
he could have gotten these guys out in whatever round he wanted, but sometimes he carried them a little bit. It felt like that because, I mean, if you watch the fight, Terrence definitely took the eighth round off. Eighth round, he was just like... All right, we just... Yeah, 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 but ninth round, he got him up out of there. But he could... I, I think he probably could have got him out fourth or fifth if he wanted to. Wow. Personally, I could, you know, personally, but really I don't want to see a rematch. If they do do a rematch, you know, hey, God bless. I hope they get, get their money. But I just don't see what Earl Spence could do to close that gap between them. You know what I mean? And if there is something, if there is some type of neurological damage to Earl, I care about him going to get that checked out way more than I care about him avenging something in the ring because losses like that aren't bad losses to me. You know what I'm saying? You're Earl Spence Jr. Yeah, you fought. You yeah, you you were undefeated. Tough. Yeah. You were the unified, you know, welterweight champion, and you just lost to the better man. That's yeah. all. Like it's yeah. not, like it's, it's, it's there's also more fights for Errol. That's the thing. You come off a loss. Yeah. And there's other people. Is it though? Ryan Garcia, Earl Spence Jr. do it right now. Both of them coming off a loss. How, how big is Ryan? He was he came down to fight Gervonta at 140, but there was that rehydration clause. So 147 is where he wants to be. You have Ryan Garcia fight Earl Spence Jr. right now. They're both coming off a loss. I didn't know Ryan was in that weight class. Yeah. There's a lot of fights. I thought Ryan was with, like, Devin Haney and Shakur. It's 140. And but he said he wants to come up, right? Earl Spence will knock Ryan's head off. Well, now that we're talking about it. Yeah, I don't want to see that. See but that. my point is he's a huge <laughs> name. You just said Mexican fan base, huge name. And then, obviously, Errol Spence, huge name. If we're talking about money fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the comeback. These are the guys. Put it up. See who's going to you know, take their career to the And I like fight. Ryan, but no. Nah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. They, they talking about Earl going up to 150-something. I don't they, he, you know. Stephen A. Smith said Earl need to retire. I well, don't know. Here's my feeling about coming up, is if you're not doing the damage at 147, like if you're not hurting your opponent at 147, the guy who's coming up from 140, I don't know if you're going to hurt the guys at 154. I, I don't. I mean, Earl's hurt people before. I, I don't know, man. Who the fuck knows, man? I just want everybody. I want the best for everybody. Yeah. Especially after what I saw Saturday. Yeah. I don't want Earl to make any rash decisions, yeah. you know? And I don't want to see Bud fight Boots. Um, I would like to see Bud either do the rematch with Earl. And that's the other thing, too. Maybe we sleeping on Earl. Maybe 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 Earl comes back and is elite yeah. in a second fight. Of course. I, anything can happen. I don't know, man. I don't. After what I just, I don't want to be a prisoner of the moment and say after what I saw Saturday, I don't believe that. But that's know? what we are. We're prisoners of the moment. We it's great. definitely are. Mm -hmm. We definitely are. But there's nothing like a great mega fight, man. The only thing that compares is the Super Bowl. Yeah. When you got a mega fight, bro. When you got a mega fight on a Saturday night, man. There is nothing, mm. nothing that compete. At least to me, that competes with it like the Super Bowl. Yeah. And you don't have to be. You don't have to follow the storyline. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just turn it on and watch two people go at it. You don't even have to know who these people are. Like, you just be like, why the fuck is he beating on them like that? You yeah. know what I mean? It's annoying as shit to be sitting around with somebody who don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. But at least they can follow it. It's a simple thing to follow. Yeah. It's not like football where you like, so... That H that they just kicked through, how much is that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or what does this call mean? Yeah. You know? And there was another thing that uh, they Everybody talked about. Everybody understands a the fight. They understand the fight. Another thing that happened during this fight that nobody's talking about, the doctor coming in the ring around the third or fourth round. That will fuck you up emotionally, bro. But this is where people feel like there's some residual uh, neurological damage because they were like, why did the doctor come in the ring? He hadn't suffered that type, He hadn't suffered that much damage yet. Like He only got knocked down once in the second round. I don't even think he was swelling up by the time the doctor came in the ring. And they was like, the doctor purposely didn't use the light pin because it could affect him? No, they said because that would have raised too much suspicion. Because the, the 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 conspiracy is everybody knows Earl is dealing with some type of neurological damage, but they st they still push the, the money fight. fight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So they said that's why they held off for 15 months, you know, to try to get him right.
but they knew that he had no business in the ring, but they needed to get that money. And I, I'm, that's, the, that's, the, that's the YouTube conspiracy. I, I, I only want to talk in conspiracies. <laughs> the truth is so boring. It's so boring. But that's what the, there was a doctor, what was that doctor? There's a doctor that was, they call him Dr. 805 or some shit like mm. that. And he called into somebody's radio show or podcast, and he that's, that's, that's what he said. But once again, I don't want to dwell in that because I don't want to take away anything from what Terrence Crawford did. Because of the course. reality is, Earl had fight since these car accidents. There we go. And he was dominant in these there fights. There we go. So let's not do that to Terrence all of a sudden just because we saw, you know, saw him get demolished. Okay, let's continue conspiracy. Okay. Um, Barack Obama's chef dies on a paddleboard. First, there's nobody with them. Now there's somebody with them. First, the Obamas are in the house or, or not in the house. Now they were on, on the property. There's... There was phone calls made to from the house about what happened. For whatever reason, the records on what was said in those phone calls have been wiped. Damn. Have you guys seen that? No, I didn't see that. Fox part. News is all over this because, of course, they want to do anything to, you know, um, yeah, shit see. on Democrats and Obama. But yeah, but still, it is weird that the, that the call log would be wiped specifically for that call well, while the other ones are existing. Well, for people who don't know the story, uh, the Obama's personal chef and friend, Tafari Campbell, passed away following a tragic drowning accident which happened during a paddle boarding excursion in Martha's Vineyard where Michelle and Barack have a property. Yeah. So was, was the Obamas on the property when this happened? Yeah. Well, we, they were in Martha's Vineyard. I don't know if they were literally yeah. at their house, but they were there. But initially, I, it was, I, they weren't. Here's my thing. God bless that brother. He could swim. There's videos of him swimming well. No, no, I mean that. Yeah, I don't like, know. There's videos of it out there. <coughs> would, we, would we be looking at this as a conspiracy if it wasn't two elected officials? And do we feel like this because of the Clintons? A lot of people died around the Clintons, That's bro. My point. Why are you yawning all of a sudden? <laughs> they knew you was gonna talk about this. They put the calcium in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking shit. They put the calcium in my heart. I was talking shit. Did they anybody check this me. before we got you in? Never know. You never know. It could be that, bro. You gotta be careful, my boy. You and me, all of a sudden, we've been athletes our whole life, healthy our whole life, yeah. eating good, and all of a sudden, calcium in our fucking heart. I was waiting for the conspiracies around this to come. Though I saw when this happened. Uh, this was like what last. Last Monday, right? Mm -hmm. I think it was last Monday. I saw when this happened. I was waiting for the conspiracy theories to come, but the only person that came through for me was Dr. Umar per you. What did he say? He just put up a post and he put accident or nah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and I was like, okay, I expect Dr. Umar to do that, but let me see. I haven't I haven't watched Fox News all week. How so does I it know. happen? I you know what I think happened. Go shoot. If it's not a conspiracy, meaning he was taken out, if something happened naturally, and we haven't had the toxicology report, is it possible he too had dated Maxine, and while he's on the paddleboard, he has a little bit of a cardiac arrest, which makes him not able to swim? Because there's no way that he just fell off the board and drowned. That, he has to have something, he has to hit his head and get concussed and then drown. He has to have a heart condition or something like that and then drown. But there's no way you go that far with that on a paddleboard and you can swim and you can't either swim back to the board or swim back to shore. That happened to uh, so, somebody in Mount's Corner that I know recently. What had, happened? Had a, had a heart attack while driving and got into a car accident and died. They were, I mean, they were older too, though, but still, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, would it have to be Maxine, though? It doesn't have to be Maxine. It could be. He's a, he is but a chef. Maxine is putting in work. But recently. listen, we, we do have to acknowledge heart disease and stuff was a thing before Maxine, though. Not really. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's been the number one killer forever. Not really, dude. Look it up. Look up the number one killer of people is heart not disease. Really. Not mostly, no. Yes, man. Heart disease. Look it up. Pull it mostly up, Taylor. Not mostly, no. Heart disease has been the number one killer of Americans, <laughs> at least black Americans. Not athlete Americans, skinny Americans, me and you's. <laughs> it's for fat fucks. We don't, yes. That's not true. I don't think that's true, Schultz. That's Bro. True. Some people are born with heart conditions, man. Man, come on. Pull it up, Taylor gang. 
Well, do, 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 let's, can we start with Americans first before we just jump the blood? Yeah, why? Wow. What is the number we one die pillar two. of Americans? We die too. Let's see. Heart disease. This is the leading cause the leading of leading cause of death for both men and, men and women. women. This is the case in the U.S. and, and worldwide. worldwide. More, More than, than half, half all, all people, people who die, die due to heart, heart disease. disease. Are men. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, that, <laughs> that makes sense. But it's been this way forever. Half well, of women, all... Women don't have no heart? No, no because they're the other half. No, but aren't there more women yeah. in the world? Oh. Ah, so we over-indexed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. if it's 60-40. Shit, my heart starts hurting right now. So right I'm there. Fucking reading this stupid shit. Right there, um, man. You got to be careful, bro. But yeah, as I'm saying, heart disease has been the number one killer. So I'm just, I'm never, I'm never not blaming Maxine. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. You're based, bro. You're fucking based, dude. You're so based, man. I'm just saying, Maxine is a problem for everything. His everything is Maxine, bro. All I'm saying, though, know, yeah. that heart disease has been the number one killer for the longest. Now, there's another theory that I've heard about this, right, when it comes to heart disease and a lot of the heart attacks and strokes that we've been seeing that we feel like have increased over the past few years. What is it? What if it's covid so there's a lasting effect of that's what they've talked about with long virus. COVID. Yeah. Like, how do we know this isn't after effects of COVID? So we could just have long COVID. That's what's fucking up uh, our hearts. Maybe we don't. Maybe we haven't paid it attention. Look that up, Taylor. Look up. Look up. COVID in uh, 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 Maya. Best of you. It could be though, because remember, Maya. What's the shit my called? My asthma came back. Like I had asthma when I was a kid, and both times I got COVID. My asthma came back and then lasted for a good like five six months. After. Did you shave or something, Alex? Something looks different yeah, about you. Right. I don't have a hat on. That's it. He always wears a hat. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I did shave the beard down too. Yeah, it's something. It's like a little Mr. Potato Headish. Like it's a feature. Some accessories, Mr. Damn. Oh, for real. God. No. Damn, no. bro. No. Yeah. How's that calcification coming? <laughs> 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 okay. This look COVID and, and uh, yeah. <laughs> put effects of COVID. Put COVID and um, what's the shit called? What's the what's the word? You know the word I'm yo, talking about. Yo, Alice sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> to say, damn, look, yo, he needs a towel, son. Come he on. did look a little, but don't he look a little different? Like he does look a little different. You did something, bro. What you know about the what you know about the guy who drowned in Martha's Vineyard? What you know about the chef? Yo, right? is that yeah. why you sweating right now? Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. It's like you wanted to <laughs> cover or something. Bro, it's not Illuminati, were you part bro. of that? Illuminati, man. Let's see. Heart disease and COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Myths and facts. I don't feel like reading all that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm good on all this. Yo, but the statin that we're on is fine, right? Yeah, you do it every day, bro. Six o'clock. But we're good on that? Why you fucking with your milligram? What's your dosage? I don't know. It's mine's take 40. One. I take one, bro. No, but it's dosage. It's either 20, 40, oh, I think it's a 10, God, 20, 40, 60. I can't do it. I can't do it. Which one you want? I can't do it. You got to eat right, too, though. I can't do it anymore. Right I do eat right. Look at me. I'm 10% body fat. Okay, <laughs> okay. I got it done today. Okay. No, you're not. Swear to God. Don't do that. Swear right. to God. I got it done today. 185 pounds, 10% body fat. That falling off. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I'm a don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a don't, don't, don't swear to God. Unless you tell him, you listen, you I, I'm not lying, though. Okay, okay no, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure, you man. You swear to God when you got little issues going on. I literally did the machine today. That machine broke it, bro. You lying, bro. You Why you think you think he more than Hey, shut up, Mr. Potato Head. You fucking carbohydrate looking piece of shit. You do look like a car, bro. You do look like a car, bro. Shut up. Fuck you. Alex, you do look like a car, but I'm not going to lie. You're about like 20%. You're maybe 15. I'm 10%. No, you're about 15. Son, why are they on, hating on me, yo? Come on. Tell her. Wait. Yo, what are you. What is this guy? This guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. Taylor, what else we got, Taylor? Yeah. What else we got, Taylor, gang? <laughs> this guy's a fucking Taylor? crazy person, Why? yo. Man, Taylor's crazy, yo. Y'all know Taylor loved the 85 South Show. Um, you on the 85 South Show? <laughs> Son, I already knew. I already knew where you were going. You didn't have to spike it. What are you home. talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. You going to 85 um, South? What else we got, Taylor? Come on. 
Taylor, show him the bear. <laughs> what sauce is it? Taylor, show him the bear. A ranch. Taylor! <laughs> Taylor, show him the bear. Show him the bear, Taylor. Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> Definitely Polynesian. <laughs> show him the bear. Show him the bear, Taylor. Taylor. Uh, <laughs> There's a bear that the Chinese, speaking of the Chinese. I've seen it, I've seen it, bro. What is up with the Chinese, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, who do they think they fooling all the time, yo? Listen, a Chinese zoo denies that their bears are humans in disguise after viral video shows them standing on their hind legs and waving. What the fuck, man? Now, I've never claimed to be the highest grade of weed in the dispensary. That's a Chinese person, bro. Come on, man. That's Chinese. Come on, man. You know it is. I mean, bitch, like, why? Tall, but why lie? That's a Chinese nah. person. The why bear. lie? The, bear, the bear's kind of tall, tickets. man. Alex, look how the bear's acting. Look, look at the bear. I mean, bears aren't, the bears, the bears don't move this human like, bro. You don't got pants. He's waving. You got <laughs> saggy jeans got on saggy in the back. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> nah, man. Bro. They drafting a lot of our old NBA players. Like, I might be, bro. You think that's Dwight Howard? I might be Dwight. Because that's too tall for a Chinese. But How tall is it even? Son, you don't see? It looks tall from here. I think that's a five foot. Whoever that is got punished after this. Say what? Whoever that is got punished after this because... How do they punish them over there? <laughs> I have no idea. How did they... nothing, you can't guess? No, I don't want to. <laughs> There's no way that you want to guess. <laughs> How did they punish them? I don't know. I was just seeing if you knew. I, I have no they, idea. The Chinese people would punish <laughs> no each idea. other. Why, why do they have fake bears, though? Say again? Why do fake bears? Because bears don't exist in China. But, but why lie? What did the fucking people watching this think, bro? <laughs> like, what are they thinking in this moment? Now, okay, 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 conspiracy theory. Let's go. Let's what be more what conspiracy. If, what if this is a bear? <laughs> Listen. But it's one of their bear human hybrids. hybrids. It's a hybrid. They made this in it's the lab. Hybrid. They made it in the lab. They, they made, made this in the, in the lab. And unlike Corona, they kept this in the lab. They kept Come it on. in a combined space. But they are doing that. They are making human and animal hybrids. And this is one of the first What if ones. this is that? And But now they're trying to now to, to throw everybody off because the video came out. They throw out this headline uh, that it's a human in disguise. You start the rumor that this is a human in disguise mm. but you don't want people to start asking the real questions. Which is? That's a hybrid. That is a hybrid. That is a bear human hybrid. That is a teenage mutant ninja, ninja bear. bear. Yeah. Come on now. I yeah. Uh, I thought yeah yeah. Come on now. I can see it. I, I'm yeah. Come on now. I figured they would do it. Teenage a, mutant ninja yeah. Teddy, talk to me. <laughs> Come on now. I think. Yeah yeah. It looks like a human. I mean he's just. That actually chilling. looks like a fucking bear bat human hybrid. It might be. Oh, this one down like there Alex. too. <laughs> He's dressed like Alex, yo. This, Alex and Kanye West dress just like this, yo. Am I lying? Hey, you can put me Is he not in Kanye West fashion show right now? No, no, no. Alex dressed like Kanye West. You can put me in that. That's cool. Fashion. Don't he have the, those are the black? Icon. Those are the black baggy pants, right? The white sheer shirts that y'all be wearing. Oh, right? you're saying the new Kanye that walks around with the bleached haired blonde girl? What is this right here? What is this? What is this? His chest area? Yeah, right here. What is that? Yeah, he got the he got a wife beater on and some black pants, and that's just his skin. He's got the chest. It's a bear human hybrid, bro. Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on, man. Why are we sitting around acting like that's not a bear human hybrid, bro? Which would you make a hybrid with if you could make one? What would you hybrid? Human and what? I think that I would have to go with what I've seen on movies, and I feel like turtles would be the safest bet. Turtles? Could they cool? They protect us. You know. They live they, a they long time. Karate. All you gotta do is feed them pizza. You know what I'm saying? They do eat a lot of pizza. I, you would have to go with turtles. Like, why yeah. would you? The t turtles. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Oh, Bruh. they're trying to get fed. I mean, that's weird, bro. He ain't got no so eyes. this whole time, bears can stand, but they choose to walk. Where's the tail in the bear? It's a, tail on the bear. It's a bear, bro. Bears have tails. Nah. Don't they have like those little tiny? Well, maybe there's a little one there. Yo, that's really a bear tail. human hybrid. Yo, that ain't <laughs> no man. And that's not no person in a costume. Did you see the motherfucker that spent 20 grand to dress like a dog? Bro. This is getting out of hand, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man who spent twenty thousand dollars to buy a, a, Pull it up, Taylor. a dog costume that he could walk around and where he looks just like a collie. Is it? Pull it up, Taylor. Look like Lassie. Yeah. I mean, it is just crazy. What's going on, yo? Taylor, China, what's going stop on? Using Twitter yo? as a search engine. 
Taylor, why do you use Twitter? <laughs> Japanese man who identifies as a dog goes for a walk in public and enjoys being stroked by strangers. The man spent over 15 oh. grand on a costume, a costume, a, co oh, a custom made realistic collie dog costume. Weird or cool is the question that we're being asked. Weird as fuck. <laughs> the fact that he identifies as a goddamn dog. The one stereotype that men have been trying to run away from forever. <laughs> How does he fit in it? Like that's he must be a short guy. That, yeah. That's a good, that's a convincing one. That's, that's little Duval, than, bro. Better than a bit. That's little Duval. Duval. <laughs> Duval. <laughs> Everybody Duval needed a fucking new it. adventure, man. That's gotta be Duval, yo. Yo. And listen, okay, okay, okay. Conspiracy. You dress like a dog. You walk around a park. You go up to a woman, hump her leg. Sexual assault or not? Oh. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so is it sexual assault when a dog does it? Yeah. No, yeah. It's not. But we don't imprison dogs. Give, give, <laughs> women are allowed get the to get away. Taylor, Taylor, get the microphone. Get the microphone. This is amazing. Taylor, get the microphone. Taylor. Taylor, 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 Taylor. 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 My dad, I mean, my dad, my dog sexual assaults me all the time. He tries to hunt me all the time. This is sexual assault. So why you don't press charges? I can't. Why? So can you press charges against a man who so identifies as a dog? Uh, no, because he's still human. I'm asking. Can you press charges against a oh, man yes, who identifies yes, yes, yes. as a dog, though? Yes. A dog yes. doesn't know better. Yeah, he's still a human. He decided to be a dog. Whoa, 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 stop whoa, it. Yeah, look, whoa. you stop. That's bigoted. You stop. You pull That's to be, I, I can't, you, are, you are really being phobic a right bigot. now. bigot. That's <laughs> <laughs> this man identifies as a dog. And he decided when he was a human, he wanted to be a dog. So therefore... No, he was no. always a dog. He was, he was trying to fit in as a human, but he couldn't because that's not who he was. He was assigned human at birth. They didn't He's ask him what he was. <laughs> he's, had, he, he's had the dog in him since day one. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You're not, you're not even being sensitive to this saying? man at all. Yeah. So he was three, two. So if, he's, if a dog is humping you, you would treat him no different than you would treat your dog. I know that he was a human first. But it doesn't matter. It ain't first. He was born a dog. He decided to buy that costume it's, it's not a as a human. He, he just did it. To buy that costume and put himself. I can't in believe that how insensitive you're being, yo. So therefore, he just he did it so he could feel assault. more comfortable in his skin. You are being so insensitive, yo. Yo, it's crazy that man how identifies big it is as, a, as Lassie, and you will not give him the respect. Uh, damn, I'm, I'm, I don't want to miss uh, canine him. I, you're, uh, you're not giving him the respect he. De you're, damn, I keep saying him, but no, you can call dogs him, right? Yeah, yeah. dogs yeah. are him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're not giving dog. this dog the respect it deserves, yo. It's really kind of fucked up. It's an insensitive of you. Listen, and, if, if yeah. you want us to put him in the pound, I'm with you. I support you in whatever decision you make if this dog humps your leg without your consent. I'm with it. You know what I mean? I just want us to all be on the same page when they come at us. You know what I mean? When they come at us, it's going to be a problem. He spent 50 grand so he could just feel like himself. Yeah, come where did he get man. the 50 grand from? 15. 15 grand. Why where did he get it why from? Why can't he get where, money? But no, no, but where did he get it from? What when he mean? was working as a human? I don't, don't think know so. I think dogs can make money all the time. I already did security. He was a guard dog. Guard dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what the streets of Japan told me. <laughs> the streets of Japan told me he was a guard dog. Yeah, Man. but regular dogs don't get their money for being security. I respect him, though. I respect him, too, He's Man. taking a risk, boy. Why, being Japanese and... Uh, and being a dog, because he could get a different harassment? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm just saying, man. It's a big risk. Big risk of what? You're being dog phobic. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on. Taylor's being dog phobic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Tara, she, you were being very dog phobic. Yeah. It is what it is. You really Damn, don't care? You want smoke, yo. Yeah. That's stupid as fuck. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, it is yo. What it is. God damn. Wow. Why do you feel like you could just call things stupid because you don't understand them? Word is bond. You ain't even trying to understand them either. Why That's crazy. 
Have you ever tried to be a dog? Maybe you're a dog at heart. When I was a heart. kid, yeah, I used to walk around like a dog. You identified as an alien. Yeah, <laughs> nobody, nobody said Hold anything. On. Hold on a second. I did. Hold on a second. As We're a not child. gonna skip past yeah. that. <laughs> What? She's a dog, bro. No, she identified as a dog as a kid, and then she suppressed it, and that's why she's jealous no, of this man jealous. who's actually got that's in right. touch with who he jealous. really is. Oh, you're right. That's you. You're a hater, yo. Typical Come on, yo. Come hater. on, let's do it together. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to, Taylor. Come on, Taylor. Come you on. really do. Come, Come on. Do it. Stop suppressing it. Be who you are. Come you can identify. Taylor. Why is what you want to identify as you come can be on, free. Taylor. Taylor. Taylor, come on. Come on. Nothing but the dog and me. Taylor, Taylor, come you know, on. You, you know the person who made that song? Taylor, come on. You do know George Bush made that song. He made that song for people who identify as dogs. You do know that, right? He said what? When George Clinton made that song, they made that song for people that was, who identify as dogs. That was so liberating. I Nothing honestly wish that you had the courage me. to do that. <laughs> That was so liberating. That's I wish right. I had the courage. My pink came out. I had, no, no, no. I had the pink. Can I ask right. your question? The on lipstick, the how lipstick he, came out. How is he going to the bathroom in the next house? By the way, what do you think how he way, goes to the bathroom? Yo, yo, Schultz, he's not the only one. We're acting like, you know, we haven't had people who identified as dogs amongst us forever. Snoop Doggy Dog. Bang. Mm. DMX. Bang. Mm. You know what I mean? This George is a common thing. literally wrote... Uh, nothing but the dog in me. And they did all this. Stuff. Bow wow. Right. They, he did. They, 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 literally in the Snoop movie. Further. In the Snoop. What in the Snoop uh, music video? He transformed into a he dog. Into a dog. You just. You know what? You're not a dog. You pussy. Mm. That's right. You scared. You scared. You scared, you scared to be who you are. Scared to yo. be who you are. Straight up. What's your favorite position in bed? Ooh. Of course it isn't. You hater. <laughs> <laughs> you two, what is it? Watch, what is it? What is She's it? She's scared to do doggy style because she'll resort back to her natural form. That's it! <laughs> Come on. We know what the fuck going on, Taylor. What's your favorite oh position, gosh. Taylor? What's your uh, favorite position? Riding. You like riding. Mm -hmm. But only on like the couch. What? You got <laughs> certain, like not in bed, like the guy has to be on the couch. Oh, she's a lap dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dad! No, ow! Ow! Ow is out here, bro. <laughs> I think them hats were constricting yeah. the brain or something your like vision, that. You gotta yo. let it be free. You ain't hit a big shot like that in a while. That was, That's a big that was, shot. That was a good one. You that a lap dog, <laughs> Taylor? Yo, motherfucking <laughs> lap dog! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? Is sometimes you get the things that you want to be. Listen, Taylor. What type of dog does Taylor ha even have right now? Taylor. You said what? Taylor. What the dog you have. A Frenchie. You have a little Frenchie. Taylor ever rode in your car? Dog. Say again? She ever rode with you in a car? Uh, no. Favorite thing for Taylor to do? Stick her head out the window. Roll the window down, <laughs> head out the window. And, I just, and, and, and my, I, I'm just realizing it. I thought she was doing the Joker shit this whole time. No, you're right. I now caught her with her tongue out. Like, this, this whole time I thought she was doing the Joker shit. I'm like, oh, I know what the fuck going on now. Wow. This makes all the sense wow, in the world. Wow, Taylor. This makes all the sense in the world, Taylor. Taylor, that is Taylor like that? is trans Jesus is dog. watching you. Stop lying. <laughs> okay, Taylor. Yeah, what? What's, wow. You can watch us? <laughs> Taylor, I'm with you. I support you in whatever you identify as. Me too. If you want to be a dog, I'm with you. You a dog. I am with you. I support you. I support that guy in Japan. I support all of y'all. I have no problem with what y'all are doing, y'all. He is brave, though. We do have Ooh. to be Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. People don't realize that yeah. they think this is a fun little game. No, that Oof. he put the target. The, the, the reality is, it, it, you you could end, you could end up in you could end up in the wet market. <laughs> Say what? You could end up in the wet market. You could easily end up in a wet. You playing market. around like you yeah. don't know like you 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 don't got no collar on. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows who you who you belong to. Oh wow! You just mm. running around. Hey, just saying. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. Y'all want to pay some bills? Let's pay some <laughs> bills. Uh, Molson Cords, man. 
Salute the most in cause. Thank you for always sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots. This show, this episode is brought to you by Simply Spiked, man. Uh, with your day one friends and a refreshing Simply Spiked in your hand, you can squeeze every juicy drop out of summer and keep the good times going even after the season ends, okay? Simply Spiked comes in two juicy flavors, lemonade and new peach, each with 5% alcohol and 5% real juice squeezed and concentrated. 21 plus only contains alcohol, all right? Uh, I got love for Simply Spike, especially during these hot summer days, man, for people who want something cool and sweet to drink that's going to also give them a little buzz. Simply Spike is the perfect thing, man. Simply Spike Lemonade has been bringing the juiciness since launching last summer in four bold flavors that are perfect for any occasion. Pick up a variety pack to try each flavor, including Signature Lemonade, Strawberry Lemonade, Blueberry Lemonade, and Watermelon Lemonade, all right? Go to drinksimplyspike.com slash idiots to find out how to get your hands on on Simply Spike Lemonade and new Simply Spike Peach. That's drinksimplyspiked.com slash idiots, okay? Flavored beer, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Simply Spike Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Celebrate responsibly. Simply Spiked and Simply Spike Lemonade are trademarks of the Simply Orange Juice Company. Now let's get back to the show. Schultz, you got church announcements? Abu Dhabi. The life tour is coming to the Middle East. Abu Dhabi, baby. Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi. October 22nd. Um, I believe by the time this episode comes out, the tickets will be on full sale. If it comes out during the pre-sale, use the promo code ANDREW. Uh, either way, you go to theandrewschultz.com to get those tickets. October 22nd. October 21st is the UFC 294. October 22nd is the life tour. Same arena Gonna be wild. Very excited to go out there. Check it out. So go get that. And um, uh, also, we got some tickets left for Dublin. Uh, TheAndrewSchultz.com. We might be adding another show in Manchester. So look out for that. And uh, get all those tickets right there. Thank you so much. We also have Niagara Falls. Falls U Casino. And then we have Windsor. Uh, Windsor, on, uh, Ontario. And uh, we're going to be doing that uh, September 22nd and September 23rd. Get some tickets for that at theandrewschultz.com, the life tour. And uh, Charlotte, what you got? Uh, I got a few things, man. Salute to the National Sales Network. They're having their annual conference and career fair this weekend in Dallas. I will be there Friday uh, as the keynote speaker. That's going to be at the Sheridan Dallas Hotel. I'll be there Friday. All right, so I'll be there as the keynote speaker. Then on Wednesday, August 9th, I will be at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture because my guy, uh, Jeezy, do I got Jeezy's book on me? Yes, I do. Jeezy's book coming out, Adversity for Sale. Uh, I believe it comes out. I don't know when it comes out. It comes out in the next couple of weeks, but I'm doing a conversation uh, with Jeezy. Uh, August 9th, doors open at 6 p.m. at the Schomburg Center uh, in New York, New York. And Jeezy's going to be doing a, um, a book signing immediately following the conversation. Um, oh, it comes out August 8th is when the book comes out. So, yeah, a day after the book comes out, me and Jeezy will be in conversation at the Schomburg Center. And Monk's Corner, as always, uh, August 12th, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., I'll be having my annual back-to-school book bag drive and fish fry. Ooh. Okay, so free food, uh, free backpack and school supplies, free haircuts. Please make calcify up. those little kids' hearts. <laughs> 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 There'll be options. There'll be options. No, they won't. Do I have free haircuts? Make sure you wash the kids' hair before uh, you bring them out. And that's from 12 to 3, August 12th at Berkeley High School, Berkeley High School student parking lot in Monk's Corner, my annual back-to-school uh, drive in Fish Fry. And, uh, of course, make sure you go get Doug Melville's book. It's available for pre-order right now. It's called Invisible Generals. That's the next release on Black Privilege Publishing. Um, and make sure you go check out. Thank you to everybody that's been checking out Alicia Renee's uh, Unleashed for Love. I've been looking at all the reviews. I love going on Audible because, you know, you can leave reviews on Audible and talk about the project. And I have no problem reading those kind of comments because whenever people spend money or take the time to actually listen to something, 
their reviews are actually real reviews. Mm. It's actual constructive criticism. It's not like YouTube or a comment on Instagram. You know what I mean? Like these are actual reviews and people get to rank it so they can do one star to five stars. So I've been uh, enjoying seeing everybody's reviews on Unleashed for Love. Y'all seem to be uh, really enjoying the project. So thank you. Make sure you go check that out on Audible. I just saw on um, Instagram right now that... Uh the greatest female boxer of all time, Clarissa Shields, mm -hmm. unbelievably talented, mm -hmm. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant boxer, uh, called out Keith Thurman for a fight at 154 pounds. And then she goes, serious, I think I can outbox him. Um, this is where shit gets a little... I think sometimes women, when they only compete against women, they get a little delusional about their ability. For Well, what does Keith identify as? Native American. I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> oh, oh. Keith hasn't fought in a while. Keith's yep. fought like four times in six years, maybe. Still, I don't think there's any woman boxer that can beat <clears throat> any male boxer regardless of weight. Like, even if you're a female heavyweight, I don't think you can beat a 108-pound male boxer. I agree with you. I think, um, I think Clarissa could beat... I don't think Clarissa could beat Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman was a world <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, champion. Because like, yeah, yeah. one punch is going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I, it, and this is, this is, she is, without a doubt, the greatest female boxer ever. Why Keith Thurman, though? Like, why, why did she pick Keith Thurman? Wow, disrespectful, yo. <laughs> I know he hasn't fought in a while, but did damn. He got, did he not call her back? Like, <laughs> like I love is, Clarissa. That's my girl. Like, I'm saying she's unbelievably talented, but you have to judge that talent within the framework of being a woman. There, there's no way that she can beat a male boxer. Not even now, a world champion, just I a did, male boxer. I did want to see, and this was, uh, this was floating around a little bit. I think Clarissa would hang in there with Jake Paul. I do. You're, you're signing a death certificate. I'm going to tell you why I feel that way, because Clarissa has way more experience in the ring than Jake Paul, and I feel like just defensively she could avoid enough punches. Jake Paul is 200 pounds. Yeah, Charlie. Well, they have to fight in a catch weight. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I ain't saying that. Did she go fight a 200-pound Jake no, Paul? No, no, no. What, what she said, what, what, what weight for Keith Thurman? 154. What does Clarissa fight at now? I don't know what she fights at now. I think Clarissa could do some damage against somebody like a Jake Paul, because Jake Paul's not a real boxer. He's, he's, no. he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a better amateur than a lot of people. No. I, don't, I think Clarissa no. could do some damage against She's Jake not going to be able to hurt him at all. So yeah. if she doesn't, she's not going to, he weighs 200 pounds. She's not, so he's going to walk through all the punches, and he's then he's just. not going to be 200 gonna, if they fight, though. Even if he comes in at 180, like, how low can he actually go? Jake's a big guy. There's no way in hell. I'm just telling you. It's, it's, you're, she's a I woman. I think Clarissa could be Jake Paul. It's one of those. I'm who's glad sport, I brought this up. Who sports up. takes a better than mine, I'm yo? I'm glad I brought who this up. Who sports takes a better than mine, she yo? She can beat Jake Paul at what? Boxing. I think Clarissa should. That's who Clarissa should call out, Jake Paul. How you it's a big money fight. Like It'll be a big money fight. Everybody will want to see it. It's the battle of the genders, right? Jake is going to bring an audience. Clarissa is going to bring an audience. She's a two-division world champion, Right? Undisputed, I believe. She's an undisputed two-division world champion. She's the only... It, she was the only one until Terrence Crawford this weekend. There's never been a male undisputed two-division champion. Mm. She was the first undisputed two-division champion. Nobody's questioning her ability as a woman, and nobody's questioning her success as a woman. The quote, as she calls herself, greatest woman Jake of Paul. all time. She could not beat Jake she, Paul. I ain't saying she'd knock him out. She'd win, I think she could beat Jake Paul in the decision. She went off points. Bro, I do. I do. I do. I do. That's what you should be calling out Clarissa, not Keith Thurman. Call out Jake Paul. This is so wildly disrespectful to Keith Thurman. Keith got a response to this. He did already, didn't he? What did he say? I thought he did. I saw, I saw, I saw what he responded. I thought, I thought I saw him respond. So I'll fight Thurman at 154. So serious. All the respect in the world to him. I just think I can outbox him. Saying, as a woman, saying you could beat a man in your weight class is disrespectful. But, but you know, in boxing, that's not really, because she didn't say I'll beat his ass. She said I'll outbox him. Which is the sport of boxing. Yeah, and but it's just like, like that, that means I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing some ducking and dodging. I'm going to probably beat him off points. Like, honestly, that's the fight that I thought we were going to get Saturday. 
I thought it was going to be a technical fight where somebody War. was going to win off points. You know what I mean? Somebody was going to outbox the other. I didn't think that Terrence Crawford would do what he did to Earl, and yeah. nor did I think Earl could do that to Terrence Crawford. Yeah. I think her saying outbox, because you know Keith's going to be pulling his punches, guys. But, but that now you're creating some bullshit. If he's going 100, he's fighting for his family's lives. <laughs> <laughs> if he's fighting for his family, if he loses, they have to do something horrible to his family. <laughs> right? <laughs> if he loses, his family has to wear dog suits for a year in China. Damn. <laughs> okay, whoa. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Woo. Yeah, you got to knock her out, Keith. <laughs> 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 what did Keith say about her? Keith said something about her, too, though. I'm pretty sure Keith responded. I'm just saying, this is a, this is a like, Ronda Rousey was going through this. I just think when women are so dominant against women, they think it translates to men. And since they never compete with men at anything, like, no man really tries when they're competing against a woman at anything. So they don't have a real understanding of what it is. The only time we try is during sex. Anything else that we're like doing physical with women, we take it very delicately. There's no, the, I used to see this all the time. Like I would play basketball at NYU growing up and the female team would sometimes play. And like one girl like talk shit to me a little bit. And I was just like, I was probably like 15 years old. And I was like, you realize that you're here out of charity right? <laughs> like nobody's seriously playing hard against you. You're a liability on defense and an offense will letting you get shots off. And you're one of the players for NYU. <laughs> it was the woman's team. So it's like, yeah, I think women get a delusional. No women could be a guy. Oh, no, there's some women. In what? That's different. Women basketball players can definitely bust some men. I think I could be Shakari Richardson in a hundred uh, oh, yard now depth. Now, see, now, now, see, now we're talking about sports that <laughs> actually women it. can bust. Women can bust ass in track. Women can bust ass in basketball. Don't Come on. I, yeah, I don't can. think so. Yeah, they can. In serious? basketball, I mean, listen, I'm passing. Yo, even in boxing. I have a heart condition, so now it's different. But, like, <laughs> no, in, my, in my heyday, not a single woman could beat me in basketball in my heyday. Not a single woman that exists on planet Earth could beat me Lisa in basketball. Lisa Leslie would bust your ass. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Lisa <laughs> Leslie would not score a single point. Rebecca Lobo would bust your ass. <laughs> Rebecca Lobo would not score a single point. Cheryl Swoops would bust your ass. None of them would score a single point. Don I'm being. Daly would bust Why your you ass. Bo- it's well, impossible. You, Caitlin you... Clark right now, Schultz would bust your ass. Listen, I'm retired. Asia I have a Wilson heart condition. Would bust your I have ass. a heart condition. I'm retired. Well, why do you think that so much, though? Like, you don't say that about a lot of men. Well, actually, you do. You just have a lot of confidence. And I win every time I say it. <laughs> you, never, you never played against them. Caitlin Clark busts your ass, bro. I'm just saying, if I'm Asia beating NBA players, I'm going to destroy a WNBA player. There's no rule that says what women. NBA player did you <laughs> Play again. I mean, did we not forget that I absolutely demolished Jason Williams and he's still salty about it? Jay Williams. Yeah, Jay Williams. I don't remember seeing this. Yeah, you know what? That you're disrespectful, yo. You added a son to Jay's name because you feel like you sunned him. So yeah. you're disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, fine, I mean, did I not? <laughs> did I not? That's disrespectful. Did I, you know what I mean? I would never talk that way about white chocolate, but dark chocolate, yeah, I busted ass. <laughs> I busted dark chocolate's ass, bro. I did. And I'm just saying, there's no rule that says women aren't allowed to compete against men in sports but they're just not good enough, that's why they don't do it. And it's great that we have a division. It's great that women can play sports against each other and develop their games. And a lot of times their games, like for example, female tennis is, some people argue, more interesting to watch because there's way more volley, it's called, where the men's game is so much power. But there's no rule that says any of those women can't compete against the men, they just can't. So, and once we all accept this and acknowledge this, it's fine. But when women start acting as if, they can beat men. It's like, what are we fucking talking about? It's like, it depends what it is, though. Like, 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 name one thing they could beat men at. I mean, when we're talking about athletics, swimming, track, basketball. The Olympics. What what Olympic sport? You can't say that. Taylor, come on, stop, Taylor. You can't just say that. Why? Even (laughs) the the things you mentioned, Joe. Like, if they're going against actual other players of that sport. No, I've seen some, I've seen. Name it, name it. Women dust. Other track dudes. No, get some fast. Not athletes. possible. Speed is different, bro. Like you talking about a, no, speed. No, like, no. Like you can time what? speed. Are no. you talking yeah, about professionally? Yeah. Yeah. If, if it's yes, it is possible. It is possible. It happens, it happens. Like, that like the greatest run. female runner of all time might be able to beat a UPS driver Whoa. in a hundred <laughs> meter <laughs> dash. Second, Whoa. You think you can beat Alice? You, you never you seen them UPS Alice? drivers run away from the dogs? You never seen him do a 100-meter dash on a yard? <laughs> Not real dogs. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> why would you do? Why know, would, man, what I makes know, a dog real? Yo, what makes a dog real? I know, I know, I know. I was offensive. What makes a dog real? Sorry, man. Please forgive me. God damn, Please bro. I hate you. You're right. That's but, fucking disrespectful. Oh, how do we say this? Okay. <laughs> cis canines. <laughs> oh, a cis canine? You're not running from a cis canine. You might get away from a. You won't. Person you won't that run. As a dog. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. going to be as fast. Yes. Cis canine. That's all I'm saying. You tell me what sport women are better than men at. Birth. What <laughs> what at, one is? Google it, Alex. Leave? Google so woman beat Google woman beating a man. Like there's, yeah, I believe yeah. track swimming. Google basketball. woman beating a man and guarantee it's Jay Z in the elevator. That's the only nah. thing that's going to pop nope, up. That, no, that's That's wrong. the only nope. thing by that's going to pop up. By the way, you just disproved your own point. How you? How's that? Jay got beat in that elevator. Yeah. That's what I said. Woman beating man. Oh no, I thought you said man. Oh okay, you're right. <laughs> Damn, you're right. It's all good, my boy. Right, you right, know right. what I mean? Oh, the city, look. What, this is sports that women beat men and compete the same. I guarantee. I guarantee you it's going to be track, swimming. Go. Let me see. Equestrian. This is hilarious. Hold That's on. That's so disrespectful. No, I don't want to know. <laughs> so, oh, it's back, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor Equestrian. 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 That's horse race. The horse. It's not even horse racing. It's horse stupid. dancing. Yeah, it's horse stupid. dancing. The <laughs> horse doing all the dancing. Okay, but listen. <laughs> women just win because they weigh less. <laughs> bowling. There ain't no way women are better at bowling. I'm racing, sorry. Racing. But that's what? car racing. It, they're not better than but men at bowling? racing. Dana Kapatrick won once. Hey, this is not a good rock climbing. They're not even close. Yeah, but this isn't fair because that's what like you said, the horse does it. Yo, no, son, the, no, way, say that not, word again. Hold on, what's the difference between Esquitarian and horse racing? Esquitarian. Because they got Esquitarian and horse racing. It's, a, it's equestrian. That's the one where it's like they're dancing and shit. Sports, horse athletes. dancing, bro. They win it. They, they're not even better than that. They you won once it? at that. Come on, bro. Why did you get off that list, Taylor? Go back to that because list. That was interesting. No. Five times female athletes beat men. Let's see. Oh, we, we now we're looking at the outlier. Billie Jean King wins Battle of the Sexes in Against what? a guy who already retired from tennis. tennis. Not a real right. one. Like, what else? Man, I don't count. I guess we count tennis. What else? Uh, scroll down, Taylor. Uh, Jackie Tawana wins by knockout, nicknamed the female Muhammad Ali. The Af American female heavyweight knocked out Larry, Larry what? I need pictures, bro. I need to see visuals. <laughs> uh, knuckleball princess, what's this, baseball? Yeah, professional baseball. Okay, who else? What else we got? What's number two and one? Skeet shooting? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's all I'm sailing. saying. That's what I'm saying. It's it's. I know the boat doing all the work. The boat sailing, right? So all I'm saying is, I I hate I hate that it comes down to this. It's just disrespectful to men and our ability to just act like y'all could fuck us up or I beat don't us. Think, That's I don't disrespectful. Think, I don't think Clarissa Seals could beat Keith Thurman. I think she fucks Jake Paul up, though. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> well, do it, Why dude. What's up? Crazy? What's up, Jake Paul? What you want to do? He do has, like, a good in. 50, 60 pounds on her. They immediately like, catch weight. So what, though? Bro, there's no catch weight for 60 pounds. They immediately catch weight. You saw, if he's so confident, he'll drop that weight. He's not going to beat up a girl. Well. <laughs> How would that look optically? I'm going. She asked for it. I'm How would Keith Thurman I'm a she was up a way, I'm going to drop weight to beat up a girl. So. Yo, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll do anything. But what yeah, I'll well, do she has anything. Great defense, um, hit a girl legally. <laughs> well, she has great defense. Like Mayweather, though. Huh? She don't need it. Taylor said, what if she can build a fence? Okay, <laughs> like, no, what if she can build a fence like defense. one of Oscar's cousins? Yeah. <laughs> what if she can build a fence? Taylor is so I really crazy. Hate Yo, Taylor, you really, I hate Taylor, you really a really dog out there. Larry Larry is, you're really a I dog, Taylor. Taylor. Taylor is really the funniest person alive. Yo, you really are. <laughs> it is said, fucked have up. you seen Oscar De La Hoya doc? Bro, I saw him talking to you. <laughs> Oscar's something else, man. He really is. He's something else, because he's the nicest guy, but he really should be a politician, because I don't know when he's telling the truth. Oh, I don't even know if he knows. Am I the only person? Uh, <laughs> like, you was checking him, though. Not really. Uh, it's just like... It's just like, I liked it, it. It's just when Envy said... He, He's watching the doc and he's being so. I'm like, what doc did you watch? Yeah. Like, I didn't get that from the doc. I, I literally was thinking, can you believe anything that comes out of his mouth? Maybe not. 
That being said, when he was fighting, that motherfucker was a warrior. Bro. Oh my god! Oh my a god! Absolute beast. warrior beast. And listen, I know you don't ever want to sound like the old guy and be like they don't make him like that anymore. But bro, boy, they really don't make him like. And he ducked nobody. Nobody and a pretty nobody. motherfucker smiling, oh, perfect teeth, man. and then getting that ring oh. and an absolute savage, mm. bro. Mm. I forgot how good De La Hoya was. Oof. I'm not lying. I remember it, but to your point about when we talk about like generations. You know, by the time he fought Floyd, he was towards the end. You know, and and I was I was paying attention to the wealth. Of Even division. in the Floyd fight, he wins the first four rounds. Or it was a split like decision. It's, it not like Floyd, been, it's not like Floyd washed him. It was a split decision. He got he won four rounds or something. Then Floyd took over, but he fought well. He fought like well, man, that's what I'm saying. Like Oscar was, and he, Oscar fought wars in the ring, bro. <sighs> He fought wars, and not just... That's why, like, wars where he would lose, come back, win again, you know what I'm he saying? He got like, robbed on some decisions. Like, he beat uh, Tito Trinidad easy, and then got robbed. Mm. A lot of people said he beat Shane Mosley, got robbed. Like, th th he's... He was in there, bro. Nah, he was Oscar that guy, guy. man. Oscar, the, the funniest part was when they show him when he got caught wearing the lingerie. Yeah. <laughs> and the way he does it in the dock, they show the lingerie scene, and... He never really quite says it was him. And then he go, at the end of the whole thing, he's like, and we brought in a guy, and the guy said it was Photoshopped and forensic said this and that. And I'm like, That's hilarious. <laughs> Oscar, come on, bro. Like, you just admit it. Like, you would. He did admit it. <laughs> Not really in the dock, bro. Oh, no, when he spoke to you or something. Because I'm like, you got to cut the shit. Like, yeah. And then he said, yeah, it was me. Yeah, it was me. Like, come on. But why even put, my point is, why even put that in the dock? Why even put that they hired a forensic person and the forensic person proved that this wasn't real? Well, why? That's double talk. That's political double talk. Oh, I thought that he admitted in the doc that they hired the PR, that person as like a PR. Situation. No. He said that when, they, when they finished that scene, go watch it. When they finished the scene, he goes, I'm clear. And then it goes on to the next thing, yo. And then on Breakfast Club, he just admits that he did wear it. Cause I mean, he probably has admitted it before that it was real. It's yeah. just in that moment, I'm like, Oscar, you got to cut it out. Yeah. Like, just come on, man. It's no need to bullshit people into it. You know why it's no need to bullshit people in 2023? Because nobody gives a fuck anyway. Mm. Like, you don't even, like, why? Nobody really, truly cares. Yeah. All you got to do is feed people shit. Yeah. And people run with it. Like, just feed them shit. Like, nobody gives a fuck. You can, I can put out a rumor about me today. And motherfuckers will run with that shit. Like, whether it's true or not, nobody gives a flying fuck, yo. That's a good point. Um, what else we got, Taylor? You got, you got a smoked in that fucking woman debate, Taylor. I just want you to know, like, you should have never even researched it. Did you do that? You For real, as soon as you that. look shit up, that shit made me feel it. I was, I was with it. I had a good defense until I realized that that's just not the facts. They start bringing up sailing and bowling. These are, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like these are the top ten. I'm like, God damn, not one track meet, not one. No, nope. Jesus Christ, the horse dancing. No. Nope. The only way we will find out if a woman. I know you're not going back into this. Come on. The only way we would find out if a woman, one of the professionals, like beat one of the um, men in running track is if they do it by themselves. Like they're not gonna. Oh yeah, do it. you're saying that they can't just go off the times that they record. <laughs> yeah, they can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying. What well, um? Yeah, you're right. Yo, yeah, you're right. What you're just right. happened? Right. <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> what? You right, just we can do that. Happened. We can do that. You're right. You right. <laughs> <laughs> what, happened? what happened with Cardi? The only way <laughs> to tell who is faster between men and women okay. Okay. is for them to race okay, so next okay. to each other. Take that away, then. Not that little time what measuring about? device Stop. that they've been Louis, using Louis. from the beginning <laughs> of the Olympics. The only way. Wait. Wait. I know Wait. men do it under 10 Wait. seconds and women Wait. do it under Wait. 12, but there's no other way. Wait, but honestly, <laughs> technically. Do you remember when we raced? No, shut up. Technically. You're a track star. Technically. I'm a sit down podcaster. Technically, look, listen though. I you demolished think... you. Ooh. <laughs> we still don't have a reach. Yeah. 
<laughs> what are we gonna have a race for? Have for what? No why need for a rematch. Why not? You are no, Aerosmith. No why need not? for a rematch. I am oh, Bud Crawford. No need for a rematch. No need. I why? saw it. We saw what we needed to see. Yeah. I saw it. That was bad. Too. Game got, over. How long ago was that? <laughs> like two seven years ago. Yeah. I still don't know if she's crossed the finish line. <laughs> did you? No, no, no. We're did you? This. We're still waiting. We're not doing this. But look, I was gonna say though, with that, they can still race. Cause maybe her momentum gets more. Oh my god. Taylor. Even you don't believe it right now. No, I do. Yeah. I do. Come on, Taylor. I do. But take away, take away track. What about like tennis and stuff? You're not, it's not Taylor, be. what about Cardi B? Were you yeah, about to like, talk yeah, about? Just, you mean throw a mic at it? Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna throw a mic at Taylor. This is, is crazy. crazy. All right, here. Oh All right. God. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? All right. So Cardi so B told them to throw water on her. Then they yeah. did, and she got angry. Okay, talk to me. What do you think? This is interesting because Cardi did tell people to toss water on her. Um, the only thing I can think is that she either forgot that she told people this had to do that, or she realized or, or it wasn't that part of the show anymore. You know what I mean? What do you think? I don't know. I mean, oh, but see, she said she also said that she did set a boundary. So she said, I don't want to look, we can play the audio. But she said, I don't want to look ghetto, but I told y'all to splash my pussy, not my face. I mean, we giving people too much clout for throwing shit on stage these days. I don't yeah. like that. So I kind of like that there's a little payback going in her direction. Like, everybody that throws some shit gets, gets something positive out of it. And look, she, the, the thing is, she said, I'm sorry. Yeah. She apologized immediately, you know what I mean? She just thought she was participating in the show. You know, she's clearly a fan of Cardi B. Yeah, but... You know nah. what I mean? I mean, Cardi shouldn't be telling people to throw shit at her in the first That's part. the other thing. Don't... That was a mistake. Don't... You can't tell the crowd to participate in nothing. The only thing the crowd should be doing is singing your songs word for word and waving their hands in the air like they just don't care. Because people are going to take it too far. You know what I'm saying? Like, every single time. Like, you know, you yeah. tell somebody to throw a little bit of water, they're going to start throwing ice and all types of shit. Like... Yeah, it's I not don't know, smart. man. I don't think it's smart, dude. Yeah, me neither. I'm I, with you. I, I don't think it's smart. I, I, I would, I would not recommend, and I would not rec reward that at all because people are gonna do anything they can for a moment. People are gonna do anything they can for clout. Man. And now they're saying that Cardi is uh, being investigated for battery. Oh God. Hey, man. If I'm Cardi B, if a multimillionaire throw a microphone at me, you lost. I'm hitting the deck. Lost. I'm, I'm, I'm dropping on the floor. Y'all not gonna know whether I'm going in the cardiac arrest or not. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna hit the floor shaking. You know what I mean? They gonna have to pull me out of there. They gonna have to drag me out of there. Yeah. All right. Fair. And we can settle for something simple. That's it. You know, you probably, K. you probably got about three, four hundred to do this show. Hundred K. That's it. Give me a hundred K. I'm good. You know, I'm good. You're saying that if it wasn't alcohol, or if it was alcohol, it don't matter. It don't like, eh. yeah. like, what does it matter? It doesn't matter. Like, you know, she, she, you, you told people to throw water on If you. you reward throwing shit, they will do it. Look at Drake's shows right. right now. He rewarded the bra shit. Now girls are bringing yeah. bras to the shows, throwing them. It's amazing content, don't get me wrong, but it's setting a precedent that it's okay to throw things on the stage. Mm -hmm. And Cardi goes, yo, throw some water on me or whatever, hose me down. Everybody want to have a moment with you. I, I don't know, why, but why are they throwing bras on Drake stage? Like, what is what? Like, what song does Drake have that's about titties? <laughs> like, what is the reason? Like, and I get Drake girls love Drake and stuff like that, but because heavies are popping, bro. It's heavy season. It's heavy season. It's heavy season. That's what it is. Does it, does he say something to encourage it? Because I feel like there's like one moment where that happens. Mm. I saw the show twice, and it's like both times at that moment is when people. Started it's got to be something, yo. But I don't. It's not the song. No, it's I definitely know, not the song. But it was like, it's almost like people knew, oh, this is the moment to take to the bra off. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So bra gone? Is that going to be the name of his next album? <laughs> we tried. What else we got? We tried. What else we, we got? Tried. I got to cut that off. We shoot, man. I got to cut that shoot, off. We bro. You should have went we to the Beyonce shoot. concert, man. Was it I good? I can't believe so you didn't go said, to the Beyonce. It was amazing, so bro. 
<laughs> I was. I'm not gonna lie. I was emotionally was. drained, bro. I was emotionally drained. I drank three shots of tequila Saturday night. I was so. I don't know why that fight did that to me, yo. I was so hurt. I was beyond why are you devastated. I don't. Do you have a kin no a kinship with? Uh, no, I have no relationship with Earl Spence. None. And I like Bud. I like Terrence Crawford. They're two of my favorite fighters. But I just really was emotionally drained after that fight. That shit. You know what it was? Oh. Think I think I worked myself up. Face? Uh, go. I think I worked myself up too because I thought that we were going to see like the greatest welterweight fight of all time. <laughs> like I thought. I mean, it know? was. No, it wasn't, man. No, no, no. It wasn't the greatest welterweight fight of all time. I thought it was going to be competitive. It's, it was an absolutely amazing. I fight. thought it was going to be one of those. Oh shit, we saw Earl go down for the first time. Oh shit, we saw Terrence go down for the first time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Some rounds they really banging on each other on some haggling her and shit. You know, and at the end it'll be a split decision and then we can't wait to see Number two, uh, you know what I mean? Because in my mind, I've been saying this for years, this is going to be the type of fight that's a trilogy. That's what I was thinking. And I don't know if it was the letdown from that or what it was, but it just, yeah. that shit took a lot out of me. And the fact that, you know, I be on my wine shit because of my heart, and red wine is good for the heart. And I do it's like... It's not good for it. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, oh, it's so it's funny. It's just not horrible for it. No, it's good for it. It's like the least... Bad. Worst. Yeah, no, it's at least my doctor bad. said. My doctor said you should drink red wine. It just thins your blood a little bit. Well, that's what we need. Yeah, but it also has things that aren't good, which is like alcohol. Red wine? Yeah. yeah. It's plant based. Oh my god. It's just so is right. cocaine. Man, the purists don't do nothing. It's this fentanyl. When they started adding Rihanna makeup to this shit, that's when motherfuckers started dying. <laughs> when they started adding, I'm serious. When they started adding this fenty to the coke, that's when motherfuckers started getting that's out of here. Funny. This it's Rihanna's was, fault. This dude. shit was not. This shit was a okay twenty years ago. Um, rest in peace, Paul Rubin. Yo, Pee Wee so Herman, died. yo, the goat, yo. Wow, Pee Wee man. Herman died seventy years old. It's so interesting. My daughter from what? Cancer. Oh no! Yeah, my daughters were watching. Uh, my daughters were watching one of the Pee Wee Herman movies this weekend. Pee Wee had made like a little. I mean, it's not new movies, but the old ones. I think they were on. They're on HBO Max, I believe. They're on one of these streaming services, but they've made like a comeback. <laughs> my kid, my my eight, my seven year old and my four year old were literally watching them. Uh, wow. Was watching one of them this weekend, literally. Wow. And I and and then yesterday when we had the. Uh, you know how when you go to you press um, home on your remote and all the streaming platforms will come up and. It said, rest in peace, Pee Wee Herman. And I, I, I want to say it's HBO Max. But when they saw him pop up on the screen, they was like, oh, Pee Wee. And I was like, yeah, he passed away today. And they was like, really? No. For what? And I was like, cancer. And they was like, oh, man. But he was 70 years old. So, you know, I don't know if they realized he was an old man and they yeah. were watching old stuff. But mm. rest yeah. in peace, Pee Wee Herman. R.I.P., man. Rest in peace, Angus Cloud. Yeah, R.I.P. Angus. Do we know the, how he passed? <clears throat> They said his, they said he buried his father last week, and they said that he has been in a very, 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 very deep state of grief since. Yeah. Mm. And you know he's always been dealing with mental health issues. You know they say they say he was staying with friends and family. You know to try to get out of the funk that he was in. So you know do it do with that information what you must. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just step all over Angus. We just weren't even finished talking about Golly, you. You claim bro. to be such a big Euphoria fan. You claim to be such a big Angus Cloud fan. But as soon as I'm about to talk some more about Angus, you just I step no all over. You, you just x him out. Wanting to talk wow. about Elon Musk and mm. the X. Like, that shit was mad disrespectful. <laughs> I yo. like what you did there. Wow. That shit was wild disrespectful for no wow. reason. Wow. You ain't even wow. say rest in peace to Angus Cloud. Mm. Can she you was the first person in the group chat yesterday talking about, damn, no, what the fuck? I was but as soon as we give him some, some respect on the pod, you want to move on. You just dismiss him. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. That's really tell. I'm just pointing out how fucked up you are today, yo. And I don't know why. You know, you ever since ever since this Japanese Rest guy <laughs> decided to be who he is and be a dog, you just been shitting on people, man. Yeah. But the thing about Angus Cloud that's interesting. And Taylor asked me this earlier. Taylor was like, "We never get in Euphoria now." We're not. And they haven't even started filming. Well, it's, it's not. It's got pushed back to 2026 anyway. Oh, because of the writer but, strike. Yes, but what I was telling Taylor was the thing about Angus's character, and I don't know where the scripts were. We don't know whether his character lived or died at the end of last season. 
He did. No, we, live. no, we it don't was his know that. Brother who died, but he. No, we I saw his didn't... brother get killed. But the cliffhanger was we don't know if Fez died. Well, originally he probably wasn't going to die, but now they're probably going to make it. We don't know. But but to your point, I don't remember. They can do that now. I watched. Can it, remember the police? Kick, remember the police kicked it in. Yeah. And just started bussing. But I thought after he saw his brother die, I thought he like. He no, put they, the hand they didn't up. show him surrendering. Oh no! Oh, okay. No, mm. I don't remember them showing him surrendering. Remember, they showed him hitting the floor, and it was like all the gunshots and oh, shit yeah, coming. Yeah, that's true. So we don't know if he lived. We don't know if he lived to die. But I mean, this is an easy way now. Oh, sadly, yeah. you know, to to write off that character. And they said that uh, in 2026, when it comes back, they're not even gonna be in high school no more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we so know. What are they gonna do with him? I mean, he probably probably got killed in the the police raid. Look at all these other people got killed. Yeah. You know, police just came in there bussing. You know, he telling little Ash to come out. Ash like, nah, bro, I'm going out like Scarface. You see? Remember, they just oh, start yeah. shooting. He's he's at, he's surrendering now. He's telling them don't shoot. There's a kid in there, but then Ash gonna come out busting. Didn't Ash hit him? Damn, this is fucked up. Yeah. Euphoria is a great you show. Watch it's it, right? I do. I watch oh, it. Do? I love oh. it. I remember this, but I just don't. I thought, I thought that the kid died, but the kid did die. he doesn't. But they make it seem like we you don't know what happens to Fez. Cause see, Ashton gets hit. And yeah. Fez gets oh, hit. Oh, Fez is hit. Yeah, Fez gets hit. They shooting. He's worried about Ash. Ash letting that Ash letting that thing off. Fast forward a little bit, Taylor. I just want to see what happened in the last minute. What happened? Oh, this shit was great. And they make us wait till 2026. See, you don't even know if Fez dies. Fez might that might have been a, a fatal blow to the stomach. Look at his eyes getting glossy. Ooh, big ass boy. Bong! Ash lets one off, gets a cop. You Why know? I do not remember this part. Because you don't you be paying attention know. to yes, nothing. I, remember. I do not remember that part. This, this one, they going to let shit yeah, off. Yeah, that's when they put the... This one, they ain't playing with him. This one, they ain't playing no games. Damn. This one, they ain't playing no games. Right there to the chest. No, no it's a head. Head. Ugh. That's gonna die I, right there. You got hit. I don't. Damn. Gonna die right there. You already got a fatal shot to the stomach. We don't know if it's fatal, but it could be fatal. His eyes were glossing, <laughs> and then he watched his brother die. At least, you know. Done. What I mean? Yeah, he's dead. What else we got? We'll do. Uh, oh, what about aliens? Oh, the aliens. Oh are man, uh, yeah. I've been trying to tell y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's fake. It's not fake. It is. None. There's no evidence. Nothing's real. No, it's not fake. There's some guy. Nobody's going. Nobody's going to get in front of Congress like that. He has no evidence. And dude. admit to all of that shit. There's nothing he admitted to. There's no evidence. He said that he's been told. What does that mean? Listen, man. All I'm saying is there's a hundred billion planets. You ready? You ready? What? There's aliens, bro. I saw them. Now, oh, I've you seen have them. just as much evidence as that guy has. But I've seen. <laughs> I've seen UFOs. Tammy I, has a video from yesterday. She saw. She swears she saw UFOs. I saw. Listen, we saw. I, first of all, I've seen extra. I've seen aliens before. I've woken up to extraterrestrials standing over me. I've told y'all these stories a million times. You've read my book. Y'all know what this is. I have no reason. But to you make also these said up. you turned into a werewolf. So that's why it's like I didn't it's say hard. I into a, lot of, a, werewolf. a lot of people <laughs> do said, not believe said, you because said, of that. My ears sharpened up, and I stopped myself <laughs> from actually transitioning. Now. I was in Anguilla over the First summer. First canine transition. We stay, we sitting on, listen, we sitting on the beach in Anguilla. And there's a couple people that can vouch for this story that y'all know. We sitting on the beach and we're looking out and it was like this, you know how like you see a star in the sky? But it was like a star over the water, right? Like this thing, and I'm like, I'm like, that looks like a star. Like, yeah, that, that could be a boat, but I'm like, it's like one o'clock in the morning. And it looked like it was off in the distance, right? But then we saw like this green, like you know how you're, like, say you're watching the water and it's the reflection of the water, right? But it's dark. But the water looked like it turned green. Like I'm talking about like, not like a, was that green? Like a bright green underwater at night. It's just the moon reflecting off. You're like, 
what the fuck was that? That same green light, after a while, we was just sitting there, it, it, it was out of the water and it just flashed. I'm like, yo, y'all saw that shit? For, for us, of course, I'm the only person that sees it, right? <laughs> so nobody believes me. It's like, it's like, it's like what, what the fuck did you just see? Oh, here he go. Like, you know, like, hey, you know? So I'm like, so I got everybody watching this spot. It takes a while. About 15, 20 minutes later, the green light again. And everybody's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Could have been a so buoy. A boat. It wasn't a, a, boat. a buoy. There's a boat. Could have been. We're on this beach all the time. Like this is a pl- this is a place that we were at in Anguilla. We we stayed in this place up with a green light, bro. Yeah. In the same place, just flashing every so often. Then the next day, right? The people that work at the house, I'm talking to them. I'm like, yo, we was on the beach last night. We saw X, Y, and Z. They both look at each other. I like show them. They pull out the phone. They show us a picture of the night sky on that beach, looking like it had looking like somebody literally had pulled a zipper down and opened it up, and it was just like this greenish beam out the sky. And she was like, "Somebody took that picture." I'm like, "What is that?" He was like, "I don't. We don't know." Just telling y'all, it's 100 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy to think that we're the only life. No, I don't think we're the only life. On, on one of them is insane. You don't think there's aliens here at all? Mm, yeah, maybe. I don't. You but don't? Hmm. Why? Why, yeah. Look at the diversity of life on Earth. Everybody there's loves shit in to the be ocean. the first person to discover something. Somebody would have said something. How do you know that they haven't what? made a pact? Yeah. I know, I'm not against their, the idea of there being aliens. Google I Richard don't... Nixon extraterrestrial pack. Google it. Google it. Yeah, Google that. Google that's it. It's actually funny. Alex, Google it. Google Richard Nixon extraterrestrial pack. You're talking about intelligent life. Why wouldn't they make a, why wouldn't they have an understanding? If they've been here and they've talked to us before, like why wouldn't they have, why, what, what makes us think that they wouldn't have conversations with our government? What do y'all think Area 50, with Area 51? Is. Yeah, it's a tourist spot. Sure. It's resort. Yeah, it ain't nothing. Really? There. You don't think it's like what you see, Alex? Anything at all? Tell us what you see, Alex. Interesting. You're a liar. Richard Nixon extraterrestrial pact. It's impossible. It's a mad documentation about that. You're right, right there. A whole article with pictures. <laughs> but what does it say? <laughs> it's it's, it's, long, ass it's long as shit. Basically, <laughs> the gist of it is. Richard Nixon met with extraterrestrials back in the day. They had a whole pact about how they weren't going to be revealed to the world in exchange for technology and aliens being able to come here and do experiments as well. But why were they? Why would we know that news? Ronald Reagan stood in front of the UN and said verbatim, "Why are we beefing with each other?" This is when Russia and America had the issues. Why are we beefing with each other? One day we might have to face bigger issues, like threats from other planets. Why would a president say that? To stop war. What if there's actual threats from other planets? Have there been? Why couldn't you just say, do we really want to nuke each other? Because human beings need... The nuke is enough, bro. Yeah, but human beings need a common enemy in order to come together. That's not true. History says so. I I, I used to believe that, but... (sighs) I used to believe that. Asking idiots. Yeah, I used to believe that. (laughs) I used to believe that. In that picture from the beach, they didn't send it to you? Mm -mm. That would be great proof to show people. Mm -mm. I didn't didn't ask them for it. And you didn't take a picture of the... Green. I didn't have my phone. I never had my phone on vacation. You're saying it was... Everybody the- there, that 15, 20 minutes you were waiting for that thing to pop back up. Nobody gets their phone. Hey, let me document That is, ve- You know what? You know what's so funny? You're right. Nobody did. And these are motherfuckers <laughs> that be on their phones. So that lets you know why nobody ever had a picture of UFOs. Maybe they do something to us when they're in our vicinity that makes us don't want to do anything but stare at them. That's why Jordan Peele made that movie Don't Look Up. Because in that movie, if you look at them... Or try to take a picture of them, that's when you get fucked up. Mm. Maybe. I'm just saying. Let's do asking me. Alex is over. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I, I just think it's arrogant I be, I to believe, not believe in extraterrestrials. Yeah, I yo. definitely believe there are extraterrestrials, and now I believe in spirits and all that shit, and I didn't before. 
But you don't care about that. Is that why you decided to go hatless today? <laughs> <laughs> nah. You ever, had a, you ever had a past life regression? What? Like, you ever go to a psychic? I've talked to mediums before, yeah. yeah the only so. reason why he's not wearing a hat is because Weezy told him that you lose your hairline if you No, don't. I didn't know. She said that <laughs> when guys wear hats all the time, people yeah, think they that do. they have a bald spot. So that's spot. why you started taking it off? I didn't know that people thought that you have a bald spot. So I just want to make <laughs> sure fuck? motherfuckers know it's that I'm good at it. Yeah, yeah, I'm good at it. Let's pay some bills. To, I mean, let's do Ask an Idiot's Taylor. It's called hat fishing. I didn't, I didn't realize that was a thing. I got my Tell head. Tell me what the past uh, gay aggression is. <laughs> What'd you say it was? <laughs> Ask an idiot. So. <laughs> what you mean? What you mean? Guy Thomas says, if you could be one video game character, who would it be? Sports video games don't count. Ooh, that's cool. Great question. Who would you be? Video. Um... Hmm. The Spider-Man video game seems sick. I don't know if you can do that, though. Why not? Because that's like comic book character, too. Well, yeah, video games are made of comic book characters. I like Mario, bro. Hell no. Mario was <laughs> ill, bro. Hell Especially after watching that's the movie. you would be. After watching the movie, maybe not off the video game, but Get that movie, Mario was Any the man. Any video game character, and you going with Mario? You just downgrade. <laughs> Mario the GOAT, though. Who bigger than Mario? Mario, Luigi, oh, he man, that's his guy, that's his brother. Mario is the goat cartoon video game character, yo. Who's a bigger video game character than Mario? No Link. Nobody. It's, and, and this movie proves that he left everybody in the dust. This right. movie made over a couple, a, a billion, a couple billion dollars worldwide. Who would you be? Mario's the mascot for all of Nintendo. Fair. Um, Ryu. Ooh, that's fire. That's Crash fire. Mm-hmm. Crash Bandicoot? I used to love that game. That's, that's a throwback. <laughs> that's definitely a throwback, for sure. Yeah, Spider-Man just... I think you more of a Mike Tyson punch-out character, Taylor. Ooh, which one? What? What? <laughs> Brilliant idiot listeners, get active. <laughs> I'm going to let Brilliant idiot listeners get active. If Taylor was a Mike Tyson punch out character, oh, which gosh. one would she be? Oh, God. Which one would she be, <laughs> this y'all? That is the worst. Bro. Which one would she be? I got $100. That's not fair. For I'm the person who I, who I, for the first person I see get the answer I'm thinking. <laughs> y'all going to have fair. Y'all gonna have to send me this comments. I don't know where, where, where should they leave them at. Where can we see them? Oh, on the YouTube video when it comes out. There you go. All right, you get, go on the YouTube video. The first one I see, cause I don't be on the comment. I'll let somebody send it to I'm me. I'm gonna say fuck all y'all too. You know what, Mike? Y'all can't you, see me in the streets for real. And I, I never played it. You I don't never know played what you're it. Talking about. Google. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what character would you be? What for, Mike Tyson? Punch out? No, just the video game character. Mario. Oh, oh yeah, you just say that. Yeah. And you got on overalls today, and you're gonna disrespect Mario like <laughs> yeah, that, Alex. Because it's like you a wild guy. You don't yo. want no powers or like special abilities. Mario got all of them. He Does just he? jumped. When you get on his shrooms. Yeah, but you gotta find the shrooms. You always looking for mushrooms. Man, like... Mario got on his shrooms, yo, and you never stop to think how big Mario's dick gets when he's on them shrooms, yo. <laughs> You, you were right about that. Yeah. Bust Down <laughs> said... No, go to MB52. Oh, okay. MB52 said, how long do you shower? Good one. Mm. I kind of do the white boy showers. I ain't going to front. Come What's on, that? bro. Where oh, I don't wash, don't wash my lower legs. half. I wash, I wash my balls and, and up. Y'all have, you have the most hair on your... Why? I don't feel like it gets that dirty. And it's also kind of a Look how you wear. Down. I got a heart condition. Look how you wear. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Look how you wear your pants already. They're fucking capris. So yeah. they're going to be <laughs> dirty. No, you're, right. you're right. I should do it more, but I kind of white boy shower. What about y'all? I got. I, I think I'm, I think I would probably range between five to seven minutes. Yeah, that's, you know a, what I'm that's saying? a very because it's like, reasonable amount. <clears throat> you get in, arm, leg, leg, arm, head, feet. You know what I'm saying? Balls. You know, I wash my face. With, with, you know, my hands. Last? Yeah. I no, go you do your, you do, I don't use a rag. I don't use a rag on my face. You don't use, you don't wash your face first? My face is the first I don't thing. use my face with exactly. a rag. Exactly. But still, yeah. like, it's your that hands your are first. the cleanest. Uh, I do my arms, arms first, chest, legs, feet, nuts, ass, then face wash. You, after you wash your nuts? After I'm clean? Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, right? And I'm, wa- I'm, and I'm, I'm washing my nuts and ass with a rag. I'm washing my face with my hands. And the rag hands. got the... 
The I'm not sun. washing not with a my face with a rag. Yeah, the oh, yeah, suds are the suds. Suds again. Yeah. You got ass on your face. No. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I don't you use a rag on my... Y'all use rags on your face? No. Oh. I know, but... I don't use a rag ever. <laughs> what do you use? use you really don't. White people don't do that. But what do even you use? Lufa, y'all... Women use loofahs. He, everyone should use something. Nah. <laughs> I use my hands and I use the soap bar. Hey. To wash your ass? Yeah, <laughs> I picked a little dangleberries out of my soap. You and your wife use the same so, soap? It's really not nasty. a soap bar. We use a liquid soap. But yeah, white people we don't do like that. We don't wash like that. No, don't do that. I Jesus hope your your wife, <laughs> what? Your wife wash, washes. Like she got a loofah. She's a girl. That's for girls. What's like, your What's your favorite uh, What's your favorite sh- uh, sour soap shit? Saliva. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Wait, y'all don't use saliva? Y'all just hot <laughs> to and clean? Crazy. Y'all really don't do that? This guy's crazy. Whatever my wife buys. This guy's fun. crazy. <laughs> what do you think Ice Spice mom's name is? Old Spice? Yo, I don't know. I was, <laughs> since we're on the shower, I was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else we got, Taylor? What else we got, Taylor? Uh... uh <laughs> What is the first thing you would ask an alien? Who wants to know that? What's that person's name? I cut it off my What is the first thing you would ask an alien? Um, Abduction or probe? <laughs> no, nah, I, I think the first thing I would ask is where are you from? I would want to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, where, where are you from? Because what if they tell you Mars? Then you know everything. They're like, damn, you've been lying to us about Mars this whole time? You know what I mean? Or if they tell us Jupiter? What if they tell us Pluto, Saturn? What if they tell us about a planet that's in you our system? You think they will understand system? us already? I don't know. That's, I mean, that's, yeah, pro- I don't know. It's hard to say because, no, nah, probably not. I don't know. Because think about it. Here on Earth, there's people from other places who speak different languages. We don't understand them, you right. know? So probably not. They probably wouldn't speak our language. But then I would think that if they're an intelligent life form, then they're a uh, bi-planetary lingual, I would think. Why do we think that they're so intelligent in getting them? Because they got to us and we didn't get to them. Exactly, Taylor. Whoever gets there first is smarter. Jesus Christ. Yo, this is a good one. I didn't know what we were basing on. Techie Poppy said, what era would you have uh, would have been fun to do a pod in? Oh. Talk you are going to say oh. The era we was in. Okay. Well, you oh, motherfuckers no. went crazy. The 90s, 90, oh, 90, 90s, 90s, 2000s bro. would have been absolutely unhinged. I wouldn't want to. Schultz, I'm going to be honest with you. Schultz, I'm going to be in dead serious when I say this. I would not want to play in that era. You know why? Because you and I... Both rise to the level of our competition, and that, yeah, it was a lot of competition. We wouldn't want that. We could. It, it would be too. It, it would be insane, be bro. It would be bro. insane. I would have loved dangerous. it. It would. Be, we would have loved it. <laughs> no, nah, you wouldn't. No, you fans wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Burn no, you fast. We burn fast. Yeah, you wouldn't want that. No, nah, we would burn fast. You say you want that, but then you really wouldn't want that, bro. The nineties, right. brilliant Ooh. idiots in the nineties. Ooh, just, just, just. <sighs> Now that'd be crazy. Oh my God! We'd have hoes on the show, man. Going man. berserk, man, man. Maggot Mondays, maggot Mondays, <laughs> every Monday, <laughs> every Monday, bro. You it'd be live sex saying. on the show. Us oh throwing my money God, at them. Man. like it would be insane. Oh bro. man, can you imagine brilliant idiots launching in the nineties? Oh, forget it. And then even if we, even as we evolved to the early two thousands, we still it'd still be maniacs. insane. We still maniacs. Yeah, you don't want Yeah, to. that would be crazy. Uh, <laughs> why hasn't Schultz crazy. been a guest host on The Breakfast Club? Is it because he's white? Nah, Gary Owen's been on there. Schultz is busy. Schultz got shit to do. Mm-hmm. You know now, was Gary a guest early? host or he was just a guest host? Nah, he was a guest host. Oh, really? Yeah, Gary was a guest host for a couple of days. Oh. He was Good, a guest shout host out to Gary. Days. I love Gary. Yeah, salute to Gary. Gary can't get a Netflix special, though. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I like it... Uh, I, I think a girl energy on there is really good for your guest host. It's supposed to be. Good. Yeah, of course. I love. I love. I mean, I love. I love when the women guest hosts. I'm tired of it though. <laughs> it's time to time to bring this on home, guys. Ooh, what are you thinking? What do you mean? What do you want? Who do I want? I don't know, man. I really have no clue. <laughs> what you mean, bullshit? <laughs> What's wrong with y'all, man? Guys. I have no idea, man. You know what I mean? But you just, just got to watch the throne. That's what I'm telling people. Watch the throne. There's a third throne to be added in the Breakfast Club studios. I don't know who it's going to be, you know? 
There's been a lot of great contenders. You don't have no idea, though. Like, having no idea is a little... We have so many coming. Little, I, I have no idea. Yeah, we got a lot more people coming, man. We got a lot more people coming. I have oh, no... Oh, you can't I- say because you already decide and they still come. <laughs> <laughs> <I hope> so. <laughs> <laughs> They, they still coming in with their hopes. No, we have we we really haven't decided. I'm just I'm just saying that I'm ready. I'm ready for the stable. I'm ready for the stable. Who you guys coming still wasting it? Who do y'all like? Who do you got coming in wasting it? Who you got? Who you got coming in wasting it? Time waking up at four in the fucking morning to get there for nothing. Who you got? Coming no, it's, it, but listen, it's not for nothing because yo, it's, it's a been good a, opportunity. It's, it's a great opportunity. It's unbelievable and. People, what I love about what I love about when people come to Breakfast Club, they really get to see how big of an engine Breakfast Club is. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because they like, mm-hmm. God damn, their social medias go crazy, their numbers go up. And I get to do their uh, oh, rumor report. Oh God, here she is. What? They don't do that because you were also encouraging me. Taylor won't get, let nobody get no love. You wouldn't <laughs> let Angus Cloud get love. Now you won't let the people that we just talking yeah. about and that say, supposed to get love. My specialty. Give it a minute, it. Taylor. Give it a second. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who do you like, Alex? Who have you liked so far? Um, I like Jess. Jess who? Hilarious? Yeah. Okay. Like... That's my good sister. Love Jess to death. <laughs> Ooh, Jess. Ride with Jess 100%. That's my good sister. <laughs> Love Jess. I got Jess. I've had I, Jess I back like, for years. I actually like when Weezy and Mandy were on there. They, they don't have time. They uh, got shit to do. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jess got shit to do, too. But, you know, Weezy and Mandy... I don't, you know, yeah, they were good. But that, I think that's good for a, a, a guest hosting appearance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, like, people that you would think permanent-wise, who would you like? Yeah, I would say. Um, and then what's the one, the girl she's been on recently? I don't know her name. Lauren LaRosa? Young girl, right? Mm-hmm. She was so, on yeah, last week? Yeah. Used to be on TMZ? Oh, I didn't know that's where she's from. Yeah, Lauren LaRosa. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. She's cool too. Who you like, like Schultz? I think Taylor should. Never. Oh, yeah, Taylor should get a shot. I think never. Taylor should get a shot. Ne- listen. You don't want a shot? Listen. I think no, Taylor should get a shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never would appear. I just think, listen, personally, Taylor should get a shot. I can't tell you who it's going to be, but I can tell you who it's not going to be. Okay? <laughs> 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 right? It will never be they Taylor. Like to, they just like to use me as their little toy puppet, that's all. Oh. What? Aww. Whoever does that? Y'all like to bring me in or in different topics. I really everything. don't like to bring you in. <laughs> I don't. I, that's, I don't. <laughs> what is even happening? I know. Who do you right? like, Shows? I know. Shows, who do you like? Yeah, I no. like Taylor. Yeah, I take back my Taylor. I like Taylor. <laughs> You need some dog I'm, in there, bro. You ain't got enough dog in there. <laughs> you need some dog in there. Fuck Dogs you. eat breakfast too. You need some dog in there. Dogs eat breakfast too. <laughs> well, well, Schultz, I am Schultz. I am on the show. You can hear my production. Uh, Taylor made it. Um, every day. You know what? I'm not even going to ask that question. I was going to ask. There was a question up there about you. I'm not even going to ask it now because you want to make everything about you, Taylor. Gang. Why am I making everything about me? But Taylor me? does do amazing production. <laughs> she really does. Yeah. And that is what she needs to be doing: producing. Yes. Be no. heard. I'm rooting for okay? whole team. Through imaging. <laughs> Taylor. All right. Talk through your imaging, Taylor. All right. Shut up. Talk to you. <laughs> we don't, okay. We don't know. We don't need to know how that brain works outside of those amazing, <laughs> that amazing imaging you do yeah, for the Breakfast Club. Give, tell them where to get your imaging, Taylor. Where, 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 do they they get your imaging? where do they get your imaging? If they want some of that amazing imaging, where do they go? Um, right now, the website should be done Come next on, week. I'm okay. Not. Um, but you guys can DM me, and I have actually like a portfolio where y'all can, y'all can see the rates and charges and all that. Taylor made it. Mm. Yeah. Taylor motherfucking made who, is it. Is there anybody you like for a permanent goals? I think Jess is great, man. Jess who? Jess uh, Hilarious? Why do you keep Jess, saying Jess no, who? It, 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 Jess who? My good sister, yeah, Jess yeah, Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Jess, I love Jess. I think Jess is great. I think Taylor would be the best. <laughs> yeah, Taylor would be she's the best. She's busy, though, because she's, she's obviously doing her imaging. But I think Taylor would be the best. Oh, what about Angela Yee? Yo. Danny Rose 843 says, Angela's show killing, though. Way up with Yee. Angela killing on her show. Um, she just had a great interview with Offset. Oh wow! And everybody that went crazy viral. Yeah, you doing her thing. Shout Dan- out to Angela Yee. Danny Rose eight four three says, "How did See the God meet Taylor?" Danny, I have no fucking idea. Destiny. <laughs> Destiny. 
Danny. Destiny. I really have no idea, Danny. No, Sometimes you don't remember Destiny our first Destiny. conversation? What was, what was it about? So I was a phone up and board up, and I remember I kept hanging up on a girl because she was asking about I, what I thought was like, she was asking about like old stuff, whatever. So I guess Envy got a hold of her, and she was just like, man, who is that person answering the phone? Da, 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 blah, blah, blah. And I remember you came up to me, and you was like, is that, does that bother you? I was like, no, I don't know who the person is. Like, why would I care? And then I feel like you respected that, and then that's from how it happened. You don't remember Aww. that? No. That's cute. <laughs> What's your first memory then? <laughs> Taylor, I be trying. I've been trying to forget about you since. I've been <laughs> been <laughs> you so, Taylor, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor, I've been trying to forget about you since I met you. I don't know. I, I dismiss every moment out of my head. He's such a hater. <laughs> Why are you hating on me? <laughs> Taylor made it. Taylor made Taylor it. Made Taylor, it. Made, Taylor it. made it. How That's long until that drop part. is in Brilliant Idiots every time? Oh she my up. God. <laughs> Then we'll do one more. Let's Y'all do one more. Y'all want to do some brilliant idiots questions? <laughs> Taylor made it. <laughs> Let's do one more. Taylor made it. Let's do one more. Pick a good one. Taylor made. Ooh, this is the one. Let's do this. Nah, one. nah, 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 nah. Save it. Save it. Save it. <laughs> save it, my boy. Save it, my boy. Save it, my boy. Man, that shit is gonna be crazy. Save it, my boy. All right, I guess that's it, y'all. Um, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the breakfast, that's my sister breakfast club. It's the brilliant idiots <laughs> podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>